Hey, Patreon pod. Subscribe to our Patreon, you know? Check it out. RDR watch. Let's talk yeah. about where our favorite character, Rat Dick, our is. Our pet rat. Yeah. Our little Tamagotchi character. You know, he's a Tamagotchi character. I forget to feed him a lot. Seems like it. And are you allowed to feed them drugs? I don't think so. I think it has a virus. The, the Tamagotchi. Tam- the Tamagotchi's got a virus. Maybe. It's some rogue programmer put a virus that makes the Tamagotchi jizz on dogs. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's crazy. It's it's growing, though. It's getting it's big. Tamagotchis, you know? I think a lot of the audience probably doesn't know what they are. I know. I was going to say that. I, I probably dated myself. Austin, do you know what a Tamagotchi he, is? He probably Austin does, found them 20 years later yeah. because anything that came from Japan is hip. Right, yeah, and he should have put one up an Asian girl's pussy, but he right. didn't. No need to be crude. I'm sorry. What? One I day. mean, it. If you're gonna mess around with Tamagotchis, you might as well end up getting some Asian pussy. And it's you are when you're playing with the Tamagotchi. For people who don't know, they were from the '90s. They were digital pets you would raise. And we're talking. Remember the game Snake? Yeah. Snake. Loved it. Still one of my favorite video games of all time. It was a Nokia phone game, and the graphics were all just. It was a grid, and the, all the graphics yeah. could do was fill in the grid of little squares yeah. with black ink. Yeah. So everything was just like an outline, like a square outline of yeah. the thing it was trying to depict. That's how shitty the graphics were. And you raised it, and it was a baby monster. Yep. So I guess putting a Tamagotchi up a girl's twat has, has a certain logic to it. I think so. I think so. The RDR watch recently has been, uh, I've seen, what I've seen, you know, this is either what people send me from from uh, stuff that's screenshotted on Reddit or what uh, I have heard directly from him. Yeah. I guess, so this is the abuse I receive every week. I don't know if you receive the same abuse. Let's hear you it. probably ignore his text, which I wish I could. So I get the text. Uh, it's usually like at 10 o'clock in the morning. He's, it's, he's up earlier than you'd think. And he goes, Leo, you kicked me off the pod. I'm going to take five Xanax pills He today. used that line on me, too. <laughs> he yeah. used the I'm going to overdose on Xanax line. He told, okay, so we both got that abuse. We did. And I was like, dude, I didn't say you were kicked off the pod. You just have to return the dogs. To yeah. Pug, or you have to give the dogs the pug queen and you have to get clean or at least maybe show us. It would be cool if you, you did a piss test. Uh-huh. Doubt we could get that. But if you could at least show up not high to the pod, you, yeah, can, yeah. you have a chance. And all signs are pointing toward him not doing either thing. Mm-mm. When he threatened me with the Xanax, that was after I sent him a nice long text the night before saying, hey, man, you, we really have to hammer the point home. Pugs, yeah. get rid of them. Drugs, don't do them. Can right. we get a t-shirt made? Dude, that's... <laughs> Pugs, get rid of them. Drugs, don't do them. That's the first Leo and Danny Show t-shirt. Let's say it together. Yeah. Pugs, Pugs get, get rid, rid of, of them. them. Drugs, don't, don't do, do them. them. That's all rat... That needs to be Rat Dick's two commandments. Yeah, somebody please uh, do a little clip of this and send it to Rat Dick, please. Well, be, I, I nice. sent him that the night before, and he just immediately... I, the Pugs, we're going to get to those, but he just immediately texted me, Hey, Danny... Took five Xanax, right. and I'm going to try to drink an 18-pack to see what happens. Yeah, yeah. He really wants to us to think he's going to die. And then yeah. I told him, okay, don't do that. That's violating the drugs. Don't do them part of these commandments. That's right. And then he tells me he's coming to, this was last Friday, he's coming to our comedy show. Yeah. The last one he went to before that, he brought a speaker that played the N-word while Correct. there was a black comedian on stage. You know, get some issues. So I told him, uh, no. And he said, why not? I'm just going because a fan said he would give me drugs. Okay. Now, this is, a, and I love that he trusts, this is what he told me when I was like, how do you know there's no fent in the drugs you're taking? He goes, I trust the people around me. Yeah. You trust the people around Big you. Big Che, yeah. Rat Pussy Pam. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Who else is really? <laughs> Don't trust us. Unfortunately, I mean, RDR and, and RPP, they've alienated most people around them. I, I was trying to make a long list, and all I yeah. could really come up with was was Big J yeah. and RPP. That's all yeah. that. Now it's just RPP. And then he has, like, like Rat Dick probably in his mind thinks that he has a friend at a rave, but it's a guy that just, like, just can't stand the smell, and he's just waiting to, like, be like, okay, man, here's your ticket. But Rat Dick comes in and tells him some story, and the guy's like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, man. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, uh, try not to pass out this time, all right? Yeah, yeah, now get in there. Yeah, 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 yeah cool. Yeah, and, absolutely. And he goes, and then he asks that guy where the drugs are, because I guess that's what they do with these things. Yeah. What a, what a t- 
These people are raking in the dough, Danny. 20 bucks to get in. They probably got a thousand people in there. You know how t- selling tickets is, dude. Like thousand, they're probably making 20 G's plus they got alcohol sales in there. Oh, plus, an illegal rave. Yeah, an illegal rave. You that want to throw that goes to? No, I I have a guilty conscience. You, you'd I have won't a problem. sleep well with that kind of stuff. You wouldn't sleep well with a I good, like 30K well. from a bunch of retarded kids? No, I, not if I knew that it would be seized at any moment and that also I could be doing hard time mm-hmm. if the cops came and seized my money and my drugs. I wonder if there's a group of UCLA sorority girls there that uh, want to like suck your dick or something. Doesn't sound like that exists at these raves. No, if Ratnick maybe- Ralph is at the rave, there's no UCLA sorority girl. You're probably right. These after hour party things in deep in downtown. I mean, God, L.A. It's it's a little unfortunate, but the the nightlife here is not it's not as good as it is in New York or Vegas. I'd say it is probably it's probably the third or fourth best in the nation. It's not that great. Maybe the fifth or sixth best because probably Scottsdale. I'm hearing like, dude, a guy told me he was like I was uh, with Andrew, my uh, roommate at a party this weekend. And, you know, I'm a celebrity and stuff, so it was, like, crazy. Oh, yeah. But Yeah, uh, of course, of course. Just, you know, how it is at parties oh, when we yeah. go there. Yeah, it's hard to move. It's just the it amount really of is. pens and notepads being thrust at you. <laughs> sign this, sign this. I would like oh, to get a drink, okay? Yeah, I'm I, a person, all right? Yeah. I'm like, no, we're not faking it. Rat Dick's not an actor. No, he's real, you know. Yeah, no, like I, I, you know, I'm here with a girl. You can't suck, you can't right. suck my dick right here on the, <laughs> on the mezzanine floor. You can't, you can't. No, dude, I will not have sex with your girlfriend. I just can't just a tribute. Your, like, yeah, I mean, it's the amount of times that we get offered the the women of our fans. I, guys, stop! All right, stop it! All right, guys, I get we we're down sometimes, but like you guys are overwhelming us with these offers. And you got to get there before one a.m. because usually yeah. Leo and I just add a guilt. Well, we've done it like three times by the time midnight rolls around. So mm-hmm. there's just not enough jizz, yeah. to go around. There's not enough guys. So come on, help us out here. But you know, I'm there, and uh, what the hell? What, what the hell was nightlife? You were talking about oh, a party, yeah, nightlife. Um, and uh, I just was looking around, and everybody was talking about how pitiful the nightlife is in like Los Angeles. You know what I mean? So I hardly know what the nightlife is like here. Mm-hmm. It had some legendary periods. The Sunset Strip had its heyday. Oh yeah. But I, there is a rumor that it's hard to get laid. In Los Angeles, if you're a dude, mm-hmm. a lot of guys seem to believe that. I am the wrong guy to ask because when I was in college, I only went to college parties, sure. didn't really go out into the bar scene. And then since I've lived here, it feels like to me to go out in LA feels like to take a big dump on my living room floor and then not clean it up. <laughs> because, you know, it's, it's this is my workspace. Yeah. This is where I live. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can't. Go do a bunch of ecstasy or yes. cocaine, rat dick style. Mm-hmm. Stay up till 6 a.m. in the place you live. Yeah. You got to separate church and state. So I go to Vegas. So I want to get yeah. crazy. I go to San Francisco. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I, I'm at a loss of words. It's just, there's a couple of things. First of all, the, the 2 a.m. thing in L.A. is now becoming kind of like, like look, New York is, is you can party deep into the night. You can, you know, it's people when they want to party, they want to party. And then, uh, you know, Miami is insane. You get, you know, you can party. It, everything's open till 6 a.m. I think there yeah. even more. Obviously, Vegas. And then there's the, 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 the what distinguishes us as a shitty, like, I guess, town is the afters because the afters available are things like what Rat Dick is showing up to? Yeah. Can you imagine going like you? You're a you're a you're a guy maybe like a you know a, a socialite from New York, and you're out here and they're like, where, where are the afters at? You know what I mean? And somebody points you in the direction of a rave, and you meet Rat Dick Ralph. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that is just mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna put you in a mood. You know yeah. what I mean? You yeah, don't yeah. want to leave directly. You know? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's it, it, usually you would expect that, and then after some guy coming up to you, like, "Hey, you know, my girl and I are on ecstasy. Do you want to come back and like massage us?" You'd be like, "Hey, you know, maybe." Hell yeah. As long as you keep your dick the fuck away from me. But with rat dick, though, <laughs> it's like, ah, it's gonna take a couple more hands than mine and yours to get around this broad, huh? We're gonna need a fucking water polo team to rub this bitch oh down. Oh my! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> I uh, 
I don't know where I'm going with that. But the afters, I was going to talk shit on the concept of afters. But when I'm in San Francisco. Yeah, you go on some afters. I go to DNA Lounge you, sometimes. That's right, dude. You go where else? I mean, in DNA in Vegas, Lounge. Just in, my spot in San Francisco. In Vegas, you like. Is some that filthy? Af- it's called DNA Lounge. I'd say that's a little weird. Yeah. It's, it's a, a little, little DNA Lounge. Yeah. Like do people swap DNA in there? Is they do. A- you shoot your DNA mm-hmm. on sometimes an incapacitated body in the alley. Mm. That'll happen. A guy will be like, hey, dude's fucking passed out out there. If you want to come on, I want to just, uh, is that I just a normal him. thing? Is it is it is it possible the guy the guy? I mean, if you were a homosexual bum, I would try to maybe find my way to San Francisco. Yeah, in the Castro, I guarantee it happens, dude. Yeah. In the Castro, I've been out in the Castro a couple times in mm-hmm. San Francisco. You can do fucking anything. You there. think there's a bum out there in in the Castro in San Francisco who is like, I'm going to pass out right here, and I hope someone jizzes on me. I don't know if there's a gay bum, but when I've spent time in the Castro, I, two occasions come to mind. One, I was at brunch with my buddy Tim. Mm. It's like noon on a Sunday, you know, the Lord's Day. And a guy who looks like he's been working out and who looks like he's in a hurry just comes into our field of vision and crosses the street completely naked. (laughs) (laughs) Just walking like he's on his way to meet up with a friend. What? Not under the influence. And it wasn't like, what, the, you see that in LA, but it's usually just a, it's, all, it's a well-hung black man and he's completely out of his mind on Skid Row. That's you see you that sometimes. See that, yeah. Not this case. Mm-hmm. In San Francisco, I've actually brushed up against a couple of naked parades in San Francisco. Parades or events, but then also just the lone guy in the Castro just wanting to get across the street. Wow. And then the other time I was there, it was when this guy who was like sugar daddying me for a while. Mm. I've told this story, but basically this guy said he was a photographer and wanted to help launch my writing career. I was fucking naive enough when I was 20 to think he actually gave a shit about my writing and didn't just want his dick in my asshole, Mm. which is what he really wanted. Mm. But he took me out to the Castro one night, and I remember there was a go-go dancer, you know, about five foot ten, nice body. This kid was working out. Mm. And the guy I was with, this old dude, who 66 years old, but looked like he was in his late 70s, did not look good for his age. He was past his cock-chasing prime. He just fucking locks into this go-go dancing kid, just walks right over to him, pulls out a fistful of 20s from oh, his pocket, God. lifts the kid's thong front-wise, front-wise, and just stuffs it down into his penis compartment. Oh, my God. No doubt got a little handful of that junk. It was a big cock, too. Oh, shit. These are the experiences that shaped who you are, huh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so, dude. Uh, what? How do you pr- you presume that man wanted to fuck your asshole? But like, how do you know that he wasn't just like maybe a bottom? Maybe he wanted you all up in there, man. You ever think about that? I didn't think about that, Leo. And I think it's an important support. distinction. I do. I, I believe it is because you know one. I mean, how much would how would he just hand you cash? No, it wasn't that. Damn lucrative. It. Like I went to a symphony with another gay guy once. Oh. This is I, I hung out with this guy too many times. I was <laughs> clearly on onto it. I too many times. Cause yeah, there was I went to a symphony with him. Yeah, so you just got you you just got some, what, like some some knowledge of the world from this guy? So uh, a symphony, they are in any art form, if you give it enough time and enough pretentious fucks sure. and tweed jackets. And spectacles come in there mm-hmm. and like outthink each other and are like, yeah, that, that's that sucks. Or like, yeah, yeah, this is fine art. You, you end up with horseshit. Yeah. Absolute horseshit. So, what should be good, enjoyable music when you go to the symphony just sounds like a kid with Down syndrome banging on piano keys. Yeah, because they don't want to have like a a chorus or whatever. Like they, they don't want to oh, have. Okay, like, are you kidding? They don't even want to have a verse. Exactly. So it's all. Yeah, no, it's annoying. I had to go for for I music class. I mean, I, I, had, I had to go in college for music class. No, but I get it. I, I just didn't get it. I didn't even know when to clap. I didn't even know when it was over. People would start a rousing ovation. I was like, oh, it's over. A rousing oh. ovation? Yeah, because they were pretending that they enjoyed it. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. They were getting boners, Danny. He, the guy up there, and he was really fucking weird. The guy up there, he had terrible posture on the piano bench. And he was doing that thing where he was acting like he was really taken away by his own piano playing. Sure. Which is, like, unless you're 
Jimi Hendrix up there, which who knows? This guy might have been the Jimi Hendrix of the symphony. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see you getting too into your own playing, okay? That's what they train you to do in like all art schools, because I know that uh, people that told me that they went, you know, they, they were the musical theater people or people that are actors, it's kind of like... You have to put your whole being into it. And it is kind of cheesy sometimes because who knows if they could just nail it, even if they were just like more technical. I, you I, know, I, I, like you that's get, what that's where art is. The you got to be careful, though, because if you're the fourth flutist and yeah. you're up there losing yourself to your art and you're like, you're right, right, right. It's ridiculous. Like you can't, you can't, because like the girl next to you was Asian yeah. and hasn't moved her face yeah. in three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you can't be, but the guy on the piano who, granted, he was the star, this was him out there, just, Austin, can you pull up a dissonant piano piece? I need you to type that in, just like, classical dissonant. piano, just. Let me take a crack out of that, D-I-S-S-O-N-A-T. All right, we're going to find this. But then the gay guy who I was with, this old gay guy who I should have known by this point had yeah. no interest in giving me high quality photographs that I could use on my website. Sure, he had well, I guess high interest in giving me high quality photographs of my own jizz filled asshole. Sure, that's what he wanted. He would love to do that. <laughs> Creating but your first video. He he pulled a, a big shot move and was like, "Do you want to meet the pianist?" Oh God! And he took me back there, and the guy was just like, "Oh uh, hi." What it, it, it you could tell it was an imposition. On the gay guy's part. Sure. Like, the guy was not wanting to meet... It was sort of like when fans try to get us to fuck their girlfriend. Yeah. Like, like, okay, no, hi, yeah, on. sure. Yeah, 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 18th kid tonight. This is getting old. Let's uh, play it, Austin. Let's hear. More dissonant. Not good enough. It's okay. Oh, my God, dude. This sounds like a Britney Spears song compared to what this guy was playing. Yeah, there, there wouldn't even be... It... It doesn't even you can't enjoy it. Yeah, really. you can you can press pause, Austin. It it looked like they they gave a so here's what it sounded like. It sounded like they put a bunch of earthworms on the piano keys mm-hmm. and then they put a toucan there. And the <laughs> toucan was just pecking at worms. That's a great yeah, that's absolutely how it is. I think everybody should go to a symphony to to just go through what we went through. Um, I actually, I did leave after the, the first, I left during intermission. It was horseshit. It was pretty bad. What's up guys. Wanted to take a break from the pod for a second to tell you about me undies. Now, listen, this, it's like they made this campaign for the boys, dude. They developed underwear that makes your penis look bigger. Did you hear me? Me undies has developed underwear that is unbelievably comfortable very soft, has basic black as a design or crazy designs that makes your penis look bigger. These are the, this is the underwear you need on dates. This is the underwear that you need on every, in in every day of your life, I'd say. And how they do it, it's, it's with their, it's a contoured, contoured pouch and ball caddy which is really nice. It's a little sling, a micro modal sling. They call it keeps things separated and lifted. My thing looking almost too big in this thing. You know what I mean? I'm not even kidding. It looks like I, I, I'm like, I'm not trying to show off. You know what I mean? Like Jesus Christ. Like I take, I'm take my pants off and girls are just gonna be like, dude, I can't handle that thing. That's what you guys can have. But seriously, come on. They're also affordable guys good get some me undies that make your penis look bigger are you serious and they got a great 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 deal for us and they also have other clothes too if you're looking i actually have a onesie that's really cool too um good things come in big packages at me undies get 20 percent off your first order plus free shipping at me undies.com slash leo danny that's me undies.com slash leo danny for 20 percent off plus free shipping me undies comfort from the outside in and yeah seriously guys having some like like dope underwear is a move if you're trying to get laid so get 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 these they, they're gonna make them your penis look bigger come on seriously like jesus yeah, that's a good point though like dude i had to do a, a project at ucla in arts and architecture dude yeah. on on an exhibit at the hammer museum and the exhibit was a piece of toast with yeah. three holes in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the guy like put, you know, some kind of thing to, you know, set it for forever and put it on, on a, on some, you know, a little platform. And it's, it's avant garde yeah. is the word. There was a so, urinal that was upside down too. I remember thinking that was ridiculous. And here's the thing behind it. 
here's what all that avant-garde is. Because the artists can craft something that does have popular appeal in that line of art, everybody is willing to humor them on the horseshit. Example is Radiohead. Hmm. Radiohead the band. Because they wrote Creep, and because they wrote Fake Plastic Trees, everybody's willing to listen to Moon-Shaped Pool and pretend it's good. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I wish I knew more about Radiohead. You know, I actually like Radiohead, and I like some of their later, more experimental. I know albums. creep. I, I don't. I don't want to slam Moon Shaped Pool. Some of you guys might love it. It's probably sweet, but that's <laughs> more. I'm trying to make a point. I'm trying to make a point about this asshole at the symphony. Yeah, sounds like one of the worst sugar daddy experiences I've ever heard. To be it honest. wasn't too bad, man. He took me to dinners a, and shit. He took me to dinner. Uh-huh. I've told this story before, so I'm not getting too into sure. it. But basically, I was at my restaurant delivering food and that's where he got my number nice. when I was at a table and then he took me back to the restaurant on a date oh god so I was there that's awesome eating amongst my co-workers and they were forced to serve me yeah as uh, a 68 year old homosexual yeah tried to not grab my crotch did he ever make a move this is where it got to. So this was probably the third time we hung out, which again, oh I just, it might've been the fourth and I'm really starting to feel like an idiot. <laughs> but the fourth time we hung out, we, I just got back from jujitsu and I had to shower mm. in his apartment, which was a beautiful two bedroom unit over union square. Nice. I mean, this thing would go for some coin. Wow. Landry. Was but, it a, uh, 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 what do you think he was paying at the time? I think he owned it. Oh wow. Condo. Yeah. Man. Oh. This thing, it probably would have over a million now. It would have been over a million at the time. Wow. This thing was incredible. But he he found my dirty jujitsu laundry on the floor. Oh, God. And he was like, oh, oh, my God. Can I, can I? That's how he talked, too. He was, had really nervous energy. That's oh, my God. Can I smell your jockstrap? No, dude. And at first, I just kind of went like, ah, no, nah, yeah. You know, he's like, oh, oh, my God. I want to know. Oh, dude. dude I got, that is so creepy. You know, it got worse, Leo. I just no. remember. It got worse, dude. I, um, so... We were talking about dick size. Yeah. Because that was at a time in my life where my girlfriend at the time, she told me that she banged a black dude in Paris with a giant dick. And it inspired that book. It inspired a book that's on Amazon, When Your Girlfriend Bangs a Black Dude. Very nice piece of writing, actually. <laughs> I encourage people to check it out. But I, I was in the middle of what I call in the book my own personal cock crisis. Okay. <laughs> and I was convinced that my cock was like subpar at the sure. time. And so I was asking him about it. I mean, Leo, this was the only guy who would sit there and listen. Sure. He had no ulterior motive, right? No, not at all. He probably wanted just to, to help you with your confidence. Now um, I know how girls feel. Yeah. When guys are like, oh, yeah, your ex-boyfriend is an asshole. Oh, yeah, honey, you deserve way better. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what this, and so I, he was like, oh, yeah, I've seen very small penises. I've seen penises that were just a pinky. You know, he's got that energy again. He's sure, like, sure. I've seen penises that were just like a pinky. He's like, wow, what size is yours? Really? I mean, you can be honest with me. Like, and I was like, well, you know. I got a picture of it. And he's like, oh, oh my God, can I see it? And I was like, well, you know, just because you've <laughs> oh seen God. so many, like I, and I pull it up on my phone, like, scroll, scroll, show it to him. And he just goes, oh, oh my God. No. That's so fucking hot. Oh, oh. God, dude. And he just, like, the whole rest of the dinner, he was. He could not contain himself. Yeah, he had to talk about that. He, he was sweating and stuttering. Sugar mama, uh, that's, yeah, you know, now I feel grateful that, I, you know, I've only had to deal with, we got kicked out of Nobu when we when I showed up hammered to the podcast. Oh, yeah, Definitely yeah. got kicked out of Nobu because she climbed on top of me and I was not not into it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that was uh, way, it's not, you know, accidentally thinking that a guy cares about the size of your penis showing him a picture <laughs> and then having that guy just, I know what a guy would be like after that. Oh, it'd be man. like if a girl, if it, it'd be like if you were at dinner with a, you know, a, an Asian with just a fat ass, let's say. Yes. Something like that. You can't deny it. Although you like the boobs, but let's say then she showed you a picture of her ass during dinner. Yes. You wouldn't be able to talk about anything else the rest of the time. And also, he was 68, and I was straight. Mm -hmm. So I must have been an even larger commodity. Yeah. Okay, I was the prize swordfish on the angler's rod. How old are you? 26. Mm -hmm. 26. In your prime. Straight 
and then he was like 68. So yeah, I mean, it would even be worse. It's where it would be worse, yeah. I, I, I don't blame him for losing his fucking shit no. at the time. No. Then again, he did manage to. He was getting a lot of play. Yeah. Like there was a chef. That, we went to one of these restaurants in San Francisco, really, really nice. And the guy, the gay guy was, he was cool. He was nice and he was well connected. Sure. We'd go to five-star restaurants. The chef would come out to greet him, bring us personal tasting plates and shit. And I guess one of the chefs that came out, who was like maybe late 30s, the gay guy that was going after me just ended up one night getting the chef fucked up enough on cocaine and just sucked the guy's dick. Oh, my God. What what an existence where you just kind of have to spend a, a, a crap load of money or give someone a bunch of drugs just to suck them off. I think you're going to be happy with that trade when you reach age 68. Well, uh, I'm going to be the guy getting sucked. No, uh, you would eat some Asian pussy. I would eat some Asian. Oh, yeah, maybe at that. No, I was going to say, though, I, I was doing some research because, you know, sometimes I masturbate and I was like. Oh, do you sometimes? Sometimes I masturbate. How often are you jerking off these days? At least two times a day and sometimes three. So I was like, you know what? This is I have to figure out if this out, if is this is good or not. So I, I went to I went on YouTube and I and I searched up like you know and and there's a urologist right and uh, he he went into it. He basically said it just differs from person to person, but there kind of isn't there isn't like a too much. And then I read in the comments, Danny. This is what's going to be exciting for you and me. There are like 50, 70 to eighty year olds that are like still doing it four times a day. Oh wow, still going. It's my it's my sleeping pill. You know, yeah, I, pre yeah. I presume they talk like oh, that. Oh, man, that's Whenever creepy. I think about, yeah, I know. But 80-year-olds are like, still, do I did it four what times yesterday. What if mine or your dad? That would be the worst. To see the comment? If Look, my first dad, of all, I, I mean, it's my sleeping pill. Oh, 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 it's my sleeping pill. Yeah, so there's, I mean, I dude, and there's also, what the good thing is, there's a lot of people with a lot of sexual energy in their 70s and 80s. So this, like, whole, like, you know, testosterone, like, dead guy thing, I don't know. I think it's, it, you know, there's a good chance we still might be Wanted to put our penis in things at that age. There is a retirement home out in Palm Springs. There's probably multiple. And there's probably a lot of people in Palm Springs who are just retired and elderly who were fucking because I read about it. Mm. And there were some disturbing interviews. Yeah. Because not only are these people that are getting interviewed by the LA Times talking about their sex life, not only do you know they're physically repulsive at that age, but their sexual slang is a product of like the 1940s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this lady's like, oh, I love that. So some lady, probably named Gladys, kept talking about having crazy monkey sex. <laughs> she said she has crazy, monkey sex is weird. It's so like, cry, yeah, cra the more crazy monkey sex weird. ever since my Elmer died, the more crazy monkey sex. Monkey the sex better. gets pedophilic, dude. To be honest, how? Because monkeys well, because inside the size of little kids still just go in there and start eating mom's ass. Dude. I th I weird. think she means she was somebody's hanging. Well, I've, I've, done some research. I've done some research on the bonobos, and I figured that's what she was talking about. I doubt it. Okay. Well. I think just in the 1950s and 40s, they said crazy monkey sex. Yeah. And she, her dementia is so bad, she thinks she's like in senior year of high school again. I'm going to show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint this picture of our future, and you tell me if, it's, if, if you like it. Me and you are 90, both of us. Okay. You're, I'm, you're like 90. Is Austin dead already? Yes, he's dead. COPD in uh, uh, cool. like 30 years prior. And also, how? Uh, so you're 93 and I'm 90. Yes. So we're there. <laughs> yeah, dude. I got longer to live than you. You piece of shit. I don't know. I, I'm, you know, I'm into grounding. I become a health nut, whatever. Does grounding help you live longer or yes, feel it does. better? Does it help you feel better? I, dude, I can tell you that recently I have a grounding experience that I like shocked me. Yeah. So I got a sheet. You're, you're about to get a grounding experience and I clock you in the jaw. You're really. a piece of crap. I, I'm going to paint this picture real quick and then I'm going to tell a grounding experience. All right, all right, are we talking about being 90 or are we going to talk yeah, about yeah. your grounding experience? It, both. Your gro okay, grounding is the art of taking your shoes off and standing on some dirt. Right. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be the worst story ever. No, it isn't because I, I paid $100 for a sheet that makes it, I sleep on grounding now. I have the electrical current going through me all night. I hope you spill a glass of water and get electrocuted. It'd be a crap. Now listen to me. Make any sense. This is the picture. Yes, it does. It's it has silver. It. How does it touch the ground? It has you silver. You have to put it into the. You have to put it into the electrical socket, and then it is. It okay. Is, okay. If you have to plug it into the ground. You plug line. it into the ground. Here's the theory, Austin. Is the Earth supposedly emits a frequency that is good for human health, and mm -hmm. you can only experience that frequency if your bare skin 
is touching virgin earth. There's a lot of science behind it, so don't call me like one of those not like Venice guys. I'm not a Venice guy from LA, dude. He probably just like Leo hey. packs his, it, it, You would be okay if you didn't pack your foreskin with soil all the time. That's I do not weird. do that. That yes, is not does. true. We're at. You do do that. Is it true when you go fishing, you store the earthworms? No, in there? I do not put the earthworms <laughs> in my foreskin. I've heard that. There's from a not lot of much people. space. You know, you're, you're gonna have to have. You know what? Because you you talk like this about my penis because you haven't seen it enough. So, well, guess what? I don't. I'm like gonna it. start pulling it out more. No, because it makes you awkward. No. You're. I'm the only guy around that can't just whip it out like and and you just. It makes your day. Why because, is that? Because it's predatory. It is you, not it's predatory. So pre- your cock it's energy not. is so predatory. It's not predatory. Yeah. The last time I saw it's your penis. I, it was in that haunted mansion in Louisiana, true. and you pressed it up against a window at yeah. midnight. Yeah. <laughs> like the Albert Hitchcock Nico, Psycho soundtrack might as well have been playing. Nico dude. was behind me telling me to do that the whole time. Do it. Do it. I'm sure he wants like to be on the podcast, by the way, and he wants to come to one of our shows soon. He wants to be on the pod? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. So we'll, we'll see what's up. You That's going to be man? big time. Hey, well. Leo, so tell me your fucking. So to continue. The, the frequency that comes out of the earth can be replicated by these pads you can buy. Yeah. Even though that's not the actual earth. It's not the ideal way to do it either, but it is, it works. It does like, you know, you can take a, uh, like there's a test that they do and, and, they, and it'll show you if, if you're in that state, you know? So they, uh, so I, I bought know. this good, well-reviewed grounding uh-huh. mat. Uh-huh. I've been sleeping on it. Uh-huh. Now I didn't tell you this cause I didn't want you to talk shit, but I was, uh, you know, I've been, I've been liming around the neighborhood in in where I live. You know, liming like yeah. the scooters. It's convenient. Aren't you too fat to ride those things? You're a piece of shit. That's Why would you, you say that? This is the story is gonna. <laughs> my the story, the end of the story. You're gonna think that I am too fat to ride these things. Okay, let's hear. It. But I started getting comfortable because I I used them like every day for like a week. Right, my car's in the shop right now. So like I, oh, I was no. using them, kind of hitting some jumps. No. Right, I was hitting some jumps. Did feeling, you do a bunny hop on a lime? I've been doing a bunch of bunny hops on a lime. Oh. So all of a sudden, I got way too confident, and I was going, I was full throttle, and the front wheel completely locked and launched me off that thing. So thankfully, I, I do, uh, you know, I got some some falling training from the, my days as a stuntman. So I did, tur- I was quick, dude. It was like, bam, bam, to the floor. So I turned my body as much as I could, and I landed on my, my side, my like basically my shoulder tricep area and it pushed so hard against my ribs. It, it definitely broke uh, my ribs All right, it bruised them for sure. I've broken my ribs before. So I've had like a cracked rib that every time I breathe in for the last like week. Now, this is what I'm going to say about the grounding mat. When that happened, I was like, damn, the last two times I broke my ribs or, or fractured or like, you know, bruised or whatever. It's about three to four weeks for, to come back. I swear to God, it's co- almost completely healed in a week, dude, f- from sleeping on the grounding mat. I, I, I'm I, not messing with you. I healed way faster than I normally do. Also, I wake up in the morning and don't have foot pain at all. Dude, you're sounding like Sandrine, bro. No, I, it's there's science behind it. Look it up. I thought it was just supposed to make you happier. It's, no, it's not it, a no, miracle cure to broken It's not a ribs. miracle cure, but it is supposedly, it, it helps you heal faster. It says that. It literally says that if you look it up. Yeah, it says snake oil makes your hair grow back. Look, the grounding stuff is legit. Also, Gary Brecka does it, and he's a genius. And so does uh, Huberman, and Let's he's also up. a genius. Does grounding heal bones? Let's see. And if I placebo affected it, I'm still going to believe this. Wow. That's... It does say it does, basically. Here, this is the right one. Other research over the last decade demonstrates that grounding studies have documented results, including reduced inflammation and pain, better sleep, improved response to trauma and injuries with accelerated wound healing. I swear to All God, right. Danny, I swear to God, it healed so much faster than, right. it, than I, it has in the past. All right. I am in a different state right now. I am well, I'm grounded. I think you're starting to turn gay, too, judging by your headwear. If I told like, you my you penis got up- a little bigger, what would you think? I would, uh, I think you would just, you're trying to find a reason to show it to me. And I, I don't appreciate that. I am. Buy a blanket. And what's wrong with my headwear? I just, here's the thing with all this health shit. And I get sucked into it too, Leo, because sure. nobody wants to be told they're doing something that's going to kill them prematurely. Also, it wasn't really difficult to buy the grounding mat because I said, hey, sugar mama, please. Yeah. I, I really want this. So it wasn't my money. So that's why I, I was able to take a chance on it. I mean, it started out 
in the 1950s with, hey, maybe you shouldn't smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Right. Maybe you should go to the gym every now and then. Yeah. And then in the 2000s, it's like, hey, try a salad. Right. But now... There's a lot. You have to go expose your asshole to UV light, yeah. which can get you arrested in multiple jurisdictions. Yep. You have to... Now we've come so far around on the health food shit that kale is considered a carcinogen. Yeah, kale is bad now. How? I How? Don't know. It's, it's still nutrient green. dense. Yeah, it's it's very nutrient dense. It just what it it's in your system for far too long. It's just very difficult to digest for humans. It doesn't seem like it would be something that we should be eating. It it's just in our system for a long time. This is grass. Yeah, it's but like it's really grass. it's it's a little bit more like uh, the like the what it's like its composition is different from like, you know, lettuce or yeah. Or I spinach. Like- spinach is, is is better for you. Why have you done so much research on kale? Well, because recently I've been on a health kick. I, it sounds like it. Another thing that I can't... That I I'm know almost of. everything right now, so you can talk to me. I know almost everything. You know everything? I know everything. And I got I got the reverse osmosis water too, buddy, and that's what you need to have. I, I just bought one for my parents. Um, both of their birthdays are in March, so um, I'm getting them a reverse osmosis right. system. I'll be sure to mail them a bomb. Let's- you mother... <laughs> I, in, in order to, because I did, I see, I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at a bottle of Aveeno lotion. Yeah. I was at an open mic, and one of the comedians, who's a cool guy, Italian dude, he said that his favorite jerk cream, his girlfriend took an app on her phone and scanned the label, and it came back rated 10 out of 10 as far as being hel- unhealthy and cancerous. Yeah, and there's there's an app now. What's it called? It was it's like it, it, Yuka, it was Avino lotion yeah. was the the bottle that she scanned right. that he loved to jerk off with. Right. And as he said that on stage, I was like, dude. I have had my penis coated in Aveeno lotion for the last 15 years. Okay, that's okay. That's not that. You, you'd have to do it for like 20 to 30, in my opinion, in order for it to be a problem. I'm tired of your opinions right it's now. Been, okay, You're I'm pulling sorry numbers about that. out of your ass. Okay, that was ridiculous, but it does seem like a lot of things, that's how long you have to do it in order to really mess yourself up. You can reverse a lot of this stuff. Now, let me solve all your problems right now. You need to jerk off. You need to put this in your hair. You need to brush your teeth with it. Coconut oil. It's a freaking game changer. Okay, I'm willing to try because yeah. I got some new lotion that's supposedly organic, and I've been masturbating with it, and it has been a sad, sad little ritual every time I pull my willy out because <laughs> it doesn't but feel good. Coconut oil will feel good, right? You've done it before. You you put it in a girl's ass with coconut oh, yeah. oil. Oh, coconut oil sweet. I do yeah. need to go back to coconut oil. Go You're back right. to coconut oil immediately. What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break from the pod for a second and tell you about Raycon earbuds. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the chase immediately so you guys understand why you should give them a chance. All right. Raycons offers amazing quality audio at half of the price of other premium audio brands, and they are a premium audio brand. Their earbuds are customizable. You can use Siri with them, which I like because I have an iPhone. So if you like that, definitely do it. They got three sound profiles. If you like, you know, a little more bass, do one, you know, if you like a little bit more, you want awareness mode. This is the one I use in, in, in where I walk around my neighborhood because I'm, I ain't trying to get smoked by a car. So I use awareness mode. The battery's crazy. I've had them for like a month and a half, guys. And I continue using them in the gym and I have yet to need it to charge them, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. It's, uh, they're smaller than, uh, the Apple AirPods, like the case. It's like really tiny. Just keep it in my pouch that I go around with. And conveniently, whenever I need it, a car rides, Uber rides, I throw in the Raycons. Cause you know what? I ain't, I'd have to charge it ever. That's why. So they're always in there. You know what I mean? They're giving us a great deal too, guys. So listen, if you're, if you need, uh, you know, if you're looking for earbuds at all, this is a no brainer. They're very affordable and they're high quality and the battery life is like way better than anything else that uh, the competitors you're going to be used to. So check them out. Go to buyraycon.com slash LDS today to get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's right. You'll get 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash LDS buyraycon.com slash LDS. That's R A Y C O N Raycon. Peace. The stuff I'm using right now, it just, it feels like the texture. Aveeno is like putting on, Aveeno is like stumbling out of of a Wisconsin winter and somebody giving you a big furry coat and sitting you down in front of a fireplace. 
Okay. That's what it feels like when you apply a vino to your skin and more importantly, your penis. Mm. This stuff right now, it feels like I'm rubbing my penis with pond water that somebody shot a snot rocket into. Oh, that's disgusting. I feel like if I like used lotion and jerk like I would just feel like depraved. What do you use? You just jerk off dry, dude. That's wild for an uncircumcised guy. It is wild, man. How do you do that? I feel like most people jerk no, off. No, right? no. Some people that's, do. That's when every movie they have the scene where the guy's like grabbing the. Uh, Mitch just sent me a uh, a Zoom call gone wrong where a guy didn't realize his camera was off and he went and got a vino and tissues, like a vino. The, the, a guy that yeah. Mitch was on a Zoom call with. No, it was just online. Yeah. See, now you have all this like evidence you have to like get rid of you yeah. know and hide it's tough it's shameful it's like if you don't have a lock yeah. on your door and you someone walks in you got conditioner in one hand yeah yeah, yeah. you jerk off with conditioner you've done well, that before. lotion i just couldn't think of the word yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah conditioner can conditioner burn. works too it's the same thing it works yeah i'm sure dude the stuff that i've been using right now though it's just there's no hardly any pleasure it's crazy how much pleasure can be derived from the right cream mm -hmm. and when i finish it dribbles out. There's, mm. It's like my penis is going... Uh, you gotta stop jerking off. Wait, I thought you were the rope guy, dude. I, I am. I thought you were Rope McGee. But it feels so bad, and so I'll take it a step further. It feels foul stroking myself with this half-assed lotion, and my penis isn't into it. And if my penis isn't feeling it, it's not gonna perform the way that I want it to. All right, it's time to go all natural coconut oil. Go organic, so. go uh, cold-pressed. You could do a no nut, like like a See, fifteen day no nut challenge. Have you ever done that? I've tried. He probably did, forgot to jerk off for fifteen days. I did have days. a buddy who did it a whole like two to like six months or something crazy like that, and he said it was like the best thing ever. He told you that, but do you think he was actually doing it, Leo? I doubt it. Now, have you? I mean, do you even get the urge to jerk off much? How yeah. Often? What do you mean? Do you jerk off every day? Yeah, uh, not every day, but basically. What's up, Fed? Right. Good to see you, man. Fed! Not every day, but frequently. What's that? Yeah. All right. What'd you say, Fed? Oh, I thought you said rat I thought you said rat dicks here, and I thought, oh, oh yeah. my God. No, he's not, dude. Let's go All shoot right. him. <laughs> uh, no, we, uh, you, uh, I feel like you wouldn't have, I don't, I think my sexual energy was just off the charts when I was your age, and it was problematic, but uh, you don't, I feel like maybe the weed subdues that a little bit. No, nah, I think I, I was just like chasing pussy and shit a lot when I first moved to California. And that's basically like all I was doing because I had no friends. Mm -hmm. And then now I've just kind of chilled out more. I mean, yeah, given I the choice between for like two years. So all I was doing was fucking chicks on Tinder until I got banned on Tinder. I, I totally get it. Given the choice between just playing like a board game with Fez or like having sex with like a 22 year old. I yeah. Mean, Fez every time, dude. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Tic Tac Toe with that guy oh, never gets yeah. old. No, you can play endless games. Oh I wonder, God. I feel like if Fez and Austin play tic-tac-toe, Fez would lose every time. That's the funniest <laughs> thing ever. We need to do that immediately. I We're gonna, like, maybe on the Patreon pod, if he comes, we'll do it. He could not stop Austin's X attack. Exactly. Be like, ah, you got me again, Austin. <laughs> I, I think, and I'm worried about this, Leo. Yeah. I do think I might have depleted the well. <gasps> over the last 15 years of jerking off you think it's you're now a guy that doesn't come as much i got something for you from the sex therapist I bet actually you do. i bet you have all kinds the of sex, things the sex Some therapist sheets i can sleep on no no, no. uh well the ground water amendments the ground will be good but like there is um something <laughs> the sex therapist and i had a conversation about one time uh, -huh. uh you know she told me that there you you know when you get older when you don't shoot out your cum doesn't shoot out in the same with the same ferocity. You can uh, you can kind of give it an extra boost by uh, you know playing with your prostate a little bit. Now this doesn't mean putting a finger in your ass. You can play with the prostate by just putting your hand kind of pressing putting some pressure like under your ball sack in that area. I can't believe you've never tried this. That's where the gay demon lives. That is not the gay demon. You can't and, go poking can't, the gay demon. Austin, you're saying that is hilarious. No, you use it to your advantage. But, but wait, so that's, so then I'm going to like... So you stimulate it and it, it'll shoot a lot. I know from experience. Yeah, so, uh, so I'm going to be like, oh, wow, you're a, a naughty boy when I jizz more on myself when I'm masturbating? No, you don't have to. You just play with the... What, 
What do you mean you're you're a naughty? Why would you have to because include you're, that uh, verbiage? When I'm home alone, why yeah. do I care how much jizz I produced? Well, it'll feel better. Because that's why there'll be more jizz, too. It'll be a better orgasm, you jerk it'll off. It'll require more tissues. So what? It's bad you, for the you've environment. You've gotten used to all these tissues over the years, haven't you? You've been you've been jerking off. You're a stomach finishing guy? Yeah, but I care about... I'm a, I go towel. I'm big into the green movement now. Okay. And so I just don't want to use too many brawny paper towels. I agree with that. It has, it's not necessarily the volume of the ejaculate. That's still pretty much intact. But I used to, dude, the worst was when I moved back home to my parents' house Mm -hmm. after college. Because there's, well, there were roommates. They were my parents. (laughs) And I had to perfect the technique of running the shower. Sure. Full bore in my sister's old bed. So that's where I stayed, in my sister's old room, because it had an attached bathroom and shower. Mm -hmm. And you knew I was jerking off because... (sighs) Shower on mm. 30 minutes at a time, probably no exaggeration. My parents must have thought I was like I was out playing in the mud all day because four or five times a day, the shower is on and my knees are just locked out, beating myself silly. Mm-hmm. Four sessions a day and I would come two times each session. Oh, sometimes my three. God, dude, I would jerk off 10 times a day. Wow. <laughs> To the most gnarly Bulgarian pornography the internet could not produce. good, dude. It wasn't good. And I feel like I finally might have paid the piper. No, you, it'll, it'll come back. You might have to give it a break, though, which is going to be very difficult for you. You'll, like, never be able to impregnate a woman. A it's, woman? A woman. It's just like, why do you start coming out to your penis? <laughs> <laughs> dude, how about, okay, like, I've, uh, I used to read a lot of Glamour magazine as a kid because my parents were, they heavily sheltered me. I'm so. afraid of you. They heavily sheltered me because I was, uh, because, you know, my dad probably is very much like me, and he grew up in the 70s in New York mm-hmm. City, so he probably had a little fun mm-hmm. doing some crazy stuff. So he was like, my, my son's going to have the same disease. I need to block his penis from entering the world of vagina for a little while. Yeah, that strategy worked out well. Didn't work out well at all. I think it made it worse. Now, so my father... God damn it. Did you have to wear a chastity belt? No, I did not have to wear a chastity belt. He just didn't let me have sleepovers. It's pretty smart. He was like, you can't sleep over any of your friends' houses Who got, ever. That's I never nice. got pussy at a sleepover. But uh, you would go out and like go to a girl's house on a sleepover? Like that's I wouldn't on. do that. Sleepovers pussy. were elementary school. Oh, dude, no, I would do that's exactly what you would do. You'd yeah, be like, you'd yo, go, I'm spending the night at like Daniel's house. Dan- and then you'd go and to then a girl's you house. You and Daniel would leave to go hang out with chicks yeah. and then Yeah. And then, like, Daniel or whoever would yeah. tell their mom that they're going somewhere else. And then you just, like, right. dip. Are you going to do that to your son? Are you going to keep your son in a sexual cage? I think I'm going to be. I'm going to have the Derek Jeter disease because he got a ton of pussy and he has three daughters. And I know, like, dude, so many of the biggest pimps I know have only daughters. I think, I'm, I think that's me, dude, unfortunately. And they're, and they're going to be fucking whores probably because. What's one of their names going to be? Um, let's see. I, I would. I like like uh, and names ending in vowels. So I maybe like. Um, I'll name one of my daughters maybe Tatiana. Uh, Dude, that's what, so uh, gonna happen though. You are gonna be cursed. Tatiana Dottavio. Yeah, Tatiana like Dottavio is gonna have a pop in Instagram, and it's gonna be fucking Danny Mullen's gonna slide in her DMs, and that's gonna be the end of the podcast. Mm. That's How many gonna daughters be the end of the are you willing to take? Before you get your son, until three. You give up. Three. I'll be Jeter, dude. I'll do three. I guess I do. Yeah, I have to just bring kids into the world. I've decided recently that, like, no matter how bad I think the future is, I just have to bring a child in this world. Who cares? And then fuck its mouth. Stop it! <laughs> what? I, I you said One it. Of the I mean, worst thing you, you could thought it ever I mean. think. No. <laughs> Did you is... guys see like the rat dick like grooming his sister thing or whatever? Dude, I hope that's not true. But like, those pictures look. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but they looked a little weird. What pictures are you referring to? But so many fans have been DMing me like, hey, Rat Dick molested his sister, so that's why they sent him to his dad. No. There's no No, way that's true. true. No, we talked to his mom on the phone, and she just said that he wanted to go with his dad. But I mean, I'm sure she wouldn't have maybe wanted to bring that up. But he seems to love his sister. I just want to say this, Leo. I am gonna. I was joking about you face-fucking your own child. Yeah, obviously. But you, I am really worried about you and how much you love showing your penis to people. And I think, because every dad showers with their son, I'm just, I'm worried that you're going to like showering with their your son too much. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm going to love it. No, you lock it up. I just, I, right? fe- I feel like I'm the your straightest dad, guy you know. Your dad has to show you how to clean yourself. Everybody's been through that. You shower with your dad. Rat dicks, obviously. I, that's true. I'm just afraid that's Leo is going to give the kid the talk and the demo in the shower. But for some reason, Leo is going to be erect. That is just impossibly not true. I will not be erect with my own child in the shower ever You're just gonna do the exact same thing that ginger did to rat dig but to your own kids. Oh, i think so God. hey clean your room slap 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 penis on your thigh dig, dig, dig out <laughs> rat dig deserved that a hundred percent didn't he yeah, he oh, sure yeah. deserved let, that let me read what rat dig said though oh yeah he did say he something said, weird she basically is talking about his little sister like from the last pod right yeah he says she's basically rat sister ralph maybe you boys should start encouraging her to become a full rat puss at 18 <laughs> And uh, so one, and then I think somebody, I re- somebody sent me that too, and they go, "Isn't that grooming?" Question mark. I think he's just he's more just thinking about the content. Like I know, know. how yeah. old is she? But who knows? Maybe she's like. And wh- why do people think he abused her though? Well, I think they were just making that up. They were oh. just making that up, but I mean, the pictures, I didn't like them. Oh, he's too close. Yeah, the look in his eye. Too. That was not good. Should we pitch? No, let's not pull him up. I want to see him. No, they have demonic. They have demonic things on him. I well, think. I think. They, I think you become a little bit more. I gotta take a wee wee. Let's pull him up. So we're looking at Rat Dick's old Instagram. <laughs> uh-huh. This. <laughs> <laughs> he just immediately. I'm dying, dude. I don't know, dude. Like, yeah, why did 523 fine. weeks ago he wasn't bad, dude? 523 weeks Is ago? that it? When you break it down into weeks, it seems so fucking short. It, yeah, it does. That's really scary, to be 500, you're, So he was... 523 weeks ago, for people who can't see, he was out in a field yeah, or just a large backyard with a bunch of wintry trees out there just doing their tree thing. And the caption is, some pretty nice weather out there today. And he is... Uh, he looks sober. Like, maybe he didn't smoke weed that day, which I don't think he might have even started weed yet. I don't know, dude. He kind of looks like the guy who'd be, like, killing the neighborhood cats. He does. I hope not. But let's go to his, now with his sister, just to, you know, we're just going to look at him with his sister real quick. Okay. That one. That one. Go back. Go back to two. Go back to <clears throat> Reading to my sis. Oh, man. Oh, man. And then scroll the other one where he's got a picture of her holding an American flag. I just don't know him that well. I mean, I I just would never want him around a child. So the fact that he was ever around a child really makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Not that he would, not that he's given me this energy of like, like that he's a sex. Actually, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I guess he got kicked out of a a, a rave for grabbing a bunch of asses, which isn't exactly great. If he, if anybody told him to do anything on live and they offered to make a dono, He's capable of anything. I think I agree with that. I agree with that. What do you think, Austin, it would take for RDR to commit an act of pedophilia? A hundred bucks? Yeah. Yeah, about a hundred bucks, probably. Well, I mean, he technically was jerking off in front of kids on Monkey for free, so. Mm. That was unwitting and alleged. But I'm talking about, like, no ambiguity. He knows what he's doing. Well, he'd probably have to be fucked up on drugs and alcohol, but I guarantee for $100. Oh, uh, I saw something that was pretty shocking. Um, also, a fan sent me a recording, and this might be, I mean, it might be tough to find, Austin, but the cops, he was overdosing on stream, so somebody called the cops, or they thought. I they called the this. cops. The night to, of our show, yes. Yeah, the night of our show. They called the cops to the hotel he was at. They came in. They saw he had a warrant and were just like, ah, like, hey, don't make us come back because we'll arrest you. Apparently, they can't arrest you because it was an overdose call, and that's to prevent people from like, being too scared to call the police. Oh, okay, okay. That is a California fucking policy right the, there. That the guy up that we saved his chick up there didn't know, because we, we just wanted to call the cops to save his chick. And he's like, no. Like, he, did, he, he was going to take her death rather than deal with the cops. Oh, he, was, yeah. he was his own Rat Dick Ralph. He was like Rat Dick Ralph in many ways. But he should have known that this place out here is a safe haven for drug abusers and criminals. You can do anything yeah. you want. Yeah. You can do anything. Just we'll take your poor and your needy. All the yeah. rest of the 49 states, that includes Hawaii and Alaska, yeah. come here out of our taxpayer dollar. Yeah. We'll pay for safe injection sites yeah. where you can shoot up. We'll make sure the cops don't arrest you, even if you have an outstanding warrant for spousal abuse. Right. Doesn't matter, dude. Just party on. I uh, I was talking to a Venezuelan Uber driver, and I, I was complaining to him about uh, the border having, like, way, no Venezuelan chicks, which we would gladly take in America. Instead, it was all these Venezuelan dudes. Uh-huh. And I knew that he was going to be on my side, and he goes... 
you have no idea what they're telling my family's telling me in Venezuela. And I go, what? He goes, they're emptying out their jails and sending all of their guys just to America and, and their insane asylums. They're just emptying out. What a genius idea, by the way. They're emptying. They're telling them to go to America. Wow. By, and then, did you hear Haiti? Haiti is like in the middle of the Dark Knight Rises right now. I heard, yes. I heard it's, it's not, yeah. Roving gangs with machine guns went to all the prisons and just let all their buddies out of the prison. That's crazy. Damn. Opened the prison door so they had more recruits to fight the current regime. That's insane. Leo, I like your theory, though. We need to treat America like it's an exclusive fraternity party. And we're the head of social chair at the door of the clipboard. That's what it yeah. used to be like. Do you want to know? You want to tell me what my my uh, my my grandfather told my dad that when he was coming to Argentina, Argentina was the only the only South American country that you could get in without a visa to the United States because of the attractive women that, uh, that, that also were European looking because they didn't want any. They wanted just white. I, people I don't care about race right no, now. No, not about race, but that, that, I mean, it, that was kind of the idea back then. But, go, but you're right. Yes, continue. I just want, it doesn't matter if you are from Africa, if you are mm -hmm. from Venezuela, Argentina, mm -hmm. Mexico, mm -hmm. if it is an all-chick fucking policy, oh, yeah. then who gives a shit who's coming over the border? Maybe, you know, some of the Muslim chicks, we got to, you know, woohoo, check their pussy for grenades. Maybe. All the rest of them, <laughs> though. All the rest of them, though, like, what are they going to do? What kind of crimes do chicks commit? Like, sometimes... Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. They don't commit any crime that is, you know, violent most of the time. They're never violent. If Maybe if you hire a hooker, she might rifle through your jewelry door and take a watch. Right. Jewelry drawer. That's... A, dude... It'll be fucking awesome. Yes. I mean, it would, dude, the, 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 you know how clean the country will be? We'll right. have fucking maids out the wazoo. And if the guy's coming over, they want to buy a table in America. Sure. Maybe you can come in. What do you, we got to make them buy something. Oh, it's that's an like, analogy. Yeah, it's like a table. Like, yeah, what, yeah. Could they, what would they have to buy to come in? Well, buying a table is like you're an engineer and right. you're fleeing Indian poverty. And we're like, fine, come yeah, in. You're in. You, you, you're you, can, in. you can get a bottle of Grey Goose and some bitches. Sure. Get yeah, in there, buddy. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not an engineer or an architect, or an or an athlete, I let all the athletes in. Sure, sure. I let all the comedians that are good that have a following. I don't need the in. competition. No comedians. Okay, fine. No comedians. Here we have Fez. Speaking of migrants, here's case in point number one: mm -hmm. why we shouldn't let men from other countries in. Right here, because we let you in, Fez. And yeah. all it is is you a go, is a millstone around our neck. We got to pay for you now. Yeah, we do have to pay for you now. Can you go get drop dead Jed? He's outside. Yeah, he's outside. And uh, long necky. I got to say, Danny, that's like the most basic thing you've ever said. What's it, only chicks? No, just like treating America like an exclusive club with a clipboard. Yeah, yeah we're getting to that point where we kind of need to. I mean, I'm, the chick thing, I think, is genius. I think that's great. I think you need to be, it's just like in Vegas. All chicks can get in. I don't care how right. ugly or how fucked up or unvetted they are. Again, yeah. we check the pussies for grenades. But in Vegas, if you're a guy... You got to have something to offer to get into the fucking club. Right. You either have had to have paid for a ticket in advance, which is expensive. Yep. And if you have money to spend, and I'm not talking about six grand to get ferried across the desert by a coyote. Mm. If you have money to buy a house or something like that, you're in. Or your other thing is you've got in a club what, social status. If you That's are right. a, a linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens, you're getting in. Yeah. If you play guitar in Bruce Springsteen's band, you're, You're getting, getting in. in. We got to put an age cap on the women, though. Um, yes. Because then they're just going to need Social Security, and they're not even, like, I'm hot. in. Uh, I, all yep. right. Uh, well, what, I'm thinking. Old I, I, me, uh, I think old 22. Ladies, 22. Old ladies yeah. add a lot to society, though. They're great at, like, cleaning up things. They have No, they're not as good as a 22-year-old at cleaning up things. Well, the 22-year-old's going to get banged by her, whoever's hiring her. What so if every hot 22-year-old from basically any country just came to America? That'd be the greatest thing ever. That'd yeah. be, be the, the greatest, greatest thing fine. ever. Bring them all in. Dude, there was. Bring them all in. There, when we went down to the border in December during that first initial uh -huh. rush, Leo and I saw some of the hottest South American women you've ever seen. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm going to describe like green eyes, perfectly olive skin with just tiny waist, big booty, something drop dead jib. But then we got to have, cause Leo, some of them had children. Yes. We got to have the bouncing security guard at the border ready yep. to go. Hey, no, you're not getting in when their I'm fucking sorry. husband tries to come up and follow him. What's yep, up, drop dead? Right. You no know, shoes off, buddy. No, no respect in the house rules. Shoes off, dude. Also, Fez, you should be on top of that. 
And Fez, you didn't text me today. What's up with that, dude? About filming. No, no, I, I, I called you. Well, why would you call him? He doesn't I didn't, answer his phone. I don't call. think I got that call either. All right, sit down. Fez and Drop Dead. Where's Long Neck? Not coming today? Yeah, you couldn't make it. That's okay. It's probably because a clip of us just making fun of him a little bit has about 500,000 views on Instagram. And you know what's funny? He didn't accept the invite because I wanted him to be part of it too. And it yeah. would have been it would have been over a milli if he put it in yeah, there. Dude. Yeah. And no, he, he, he wasn't down, but he did like, say, it's all I love because I was like, hey man, I didn't mean to just put a clip about us saying that you should be thrown into the gorge. Yeah. <laughs> Into the, the into 300, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And everybody, dude, I'm the biggest villain of it. When you were the guy that did that, a lot of the comments are like that. that they're like that. Don't know us. They're like, man, that long haired f- man. He he was like really. He set that boy up. Jed, what do you think about this? Let's get the audio on. Let's restart it, Austin. Yeah, yeah. This got this is it's about like it was at 469k this morning. It could be more. It's been blowing up. So let's. Do you think this was too far with yeah. long? You know, yeah. I'm not no bitch, but I, you know, I yeah. won't back down. So that's Hell for yeah. sure. I'm a warrior. <laughs> Yeah. I know, Danny, let's say he was in, like, the Spartans. What would they have tasked him as? They would have tasked him as the thing that went into the gorge when it was born. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. So messed up. That is uh, just... Uh, when, when, <laughs> what is wrong with you, bro? Like, I was trying to set you uh, set him up for a compliment. That's so fucked up. I was, was trying to set him up for a compliment, and you just hit him with that, dude? Yeah, I'm fucked up. I mean, well, like, I'm sorry. I just saw the movie. All I know is the movie. And when, Somebody, uh, okay, one of my favorite comments know, is like, they hey, Hey, they, they were, one of my favorite comments was like, "Hey, dog, they use him as the spear." <laughs> <laughs> no, I like I, 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 I thought the it was telescope too. Wait, what is a, what is the thing when you're talking about the gorge? What is? Oh, uh, you don't well, need it. Have you seen the movie? Let me what movie. Let's run three hundred. Oh no, I haven't seen. How it. have you not seen? Should we show the scene? Yeah, show in, the scene. in the movie three hundred. Basically, I don't know if we can show the scene for copyright reasons. Oh, yeah. But basically, if any baby was born in Sparta with any sort of birth oh, defects. Yeah. They didn't put it in special ed. They didn't uh, treat it like its own little unique flower. No, they did love. No, they didn't. They threw it into a gorge. Yes. Okay, so uh, yeah. Fez would have been a late one into the gorge, but he would have also gone into the gorge. Maybe when he was three or four, <laughs> when they were do, they were doing some they were doing some mental tests. And maybe I'm just kidding. No, no. But uh, <laughs> you wouldn't have been thrown in the gorge. That's for sure. All right. Well, that that's actually fucked up. Then you're yeah, a lanky baby. Oh yeah. It was, is it, it pretty fucked? Is it now fucked that up? I know like what it means? That's fucked up. Well, it's just <laughs> what is it? It was in the movie, and I set him up. It's more my fault. The people yeah. in the comments are actually right. He had to do that. We could have, I mean, you could have, I thought that maybe I was like, hope, not hoping. I was like, he's not going to go the way of maybe comparing him to the hunchback and saying that he would have not betrayed him. I was hoping you were going to say he would have been the hunchback character and then not betrayed, you know, Leonidas. But instead, you cut his story off at the very beginning, yep. didn't you? It ends the day when the one. the old man is looking at, the, it's, the movie starts with like, it's really sick. It's an old man looking at a baby, basically, and then it's mm-hmm. like, it's like there's a voiceover, and it's like every spot and child is inspected. <laughs> if and then it's like it, it, then it says that they go into the gorge, if, you know. And it's oh. crazy because that movie was a phenomenon. It was amazing yeah. back then. Everybody watched that movie and loved it. They were on yeah. board with everything. They're like fucking Spartans. They had it right. Yeah, that movie was advocating for full scale genocide. Yes, or not genocide, but eugenics. Kind of what uh, China does, right? I mean, they they yeah. throw away their women, right? Uh, Fez, not you, anymore. You would know. Confucius They would don't know. do that anymore, <laughs> and they're paying for that, I guess. Like, their demographics are really messed up. And I think the Chinese, the Chinese need some genetically inferior people to yeah. make Nike shoes. And that's them doing that, not me. The it's, little hands, dude. Well, they just, I mean, the Chinese... Yeah, I mean, they definitely want their nation to be strong, and their TikTok shows you how to do science experiments and teaches them stuff about patriotism. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they have, like, a slave class in the Uyghur Muslims. And then also, there's like if you go to the countryside, there's a lot of dudes with one tooth out there. I mean, to be honest, man, I mean, you could immediately... I mean, being able to tell between a Japanese and a Chinese tourist at Universal was the fastest thing ever because... The Chinese tourists all had just completely rotten yellow teeth, all of them, and they Bad would, teeth. They're they would the English. spit on the ground too. They're the English of of uh, China. They're the English of yeah of, of, the, Asia. of the Orient. Yeah. yeah, no. And then the Japanese people would be dressed to the nines, yeah. and uh, just just some gorgeous tall chicks. Sometimes, I mean, Shohei Otani, the big the big baseball player, he just married a really hot five eleven Japanese chick. Can we pull her up? I'll be the judge of this. Can you, can I you give think me, she's hot. Can you give me a good, like, uh, like how would a guy with one tooth talk, do you think? 
It's not on his Instagram. Just type in Shohei well, Otani. How do you think Google. it would sound? Oh, well, I the Chinese guy, they usually oh. sound like this. I mean, it just... Uh, I'm it. not going to do an accent. Oh, no. It's more of a syllable. It just... Uh, uh, That's uh, not her, dude. Go, go wife, wife. He's married. Yeah, he just got married. Do you think a guy with one tooth sounds like a guy with no tongue and full teeth? <laughs> that is a strange question that I cannot answer. I don't know. I'd like to see her full body, but it's okay. I mean, you, whatever. She's, she looks like a classy uh, broad. Like she's one of the most. Man. She's one of the most uh, successful athletes in China. She's oh like, man, they look familiar. I think I've well, met them. He's six five, and she's five eleven. They're gonna have a super Japanese child, dude. He just looks like a kid that is at your community college. I know, but he's in person. He's gigantic. Yeah, he doesn't that. look gigantic there. No, no. He like I saw him play live, dude, and you can <laughs> spot him on the field amongst a bunch of Dominicans and giant men. He's bigger, dude. It's like, weird how big I'm he is. I'm six five though. He's legit two hundred and forty pounds. Though. Yeah. What do you? What are you? Uh, you fucking uh, Grinch I'm, I'm basically fuck. just his skeleton. He would break you in half, dude. <laughs> Why, dude? The... I could fit inside of his body, no homo. Like I'm his skeleton. Like they they ripped me <laughs> you out. You could of actually him. be. That's hilarious. You're a skeleton, <laughs> dude. It's funny how much, dude. You could be the Grinch at Universal without much like makeup. They would just have to kind of paint you green. They wouldn't have to give you the prosthetics. <laughs> As we said in the video, Leo yeah. said you had a Grinch like body. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I mean. I have speaking been, of rude yeah. comments made in videos. No, no, I no. Love, he's not. He's not lying. Like I, I love I, I've been chain. on a. I've been on a beer bender for the past like probably six months straight. Right. And yeah, that's why I'm getting the Grinch body. But yo, the Grinch is strong as shit, and he's got a fat cock. So that's wait, all that matters. There's no way we can did verify they, the cock. Did they thing. wait? At some point in the movie, they might have referenced his penis. I feel like I Jim Carrey like made some joke about it. They might have. I think the Grinch yeah. is. This hanging. isn't the only thing that grew three sizes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Drop that. I want to know the details of your quote beer bender. Beer bender. How does that look? Like physically or no, no, no. how much are you drinking? Exactly. For real? Oh, and, so I don't you know, I've been like I don't know, I, I like I don't know how to explain it. I just like got like went low, went low, and sure. then I just was going to the bar like every night. Like You went just, low emotionally? Yeah. Why? You had to go you're going through like, a little breakup. It's like why don't it's we like, talk about it? Well, that, but even way before that, just like, bro, like, like, where's the love at? Where, what happened with the current chick? I got like 20 things going through my head right now, so it's hard to talk. I get it, dude. Um, Damn, she hurt Take you. another swig of that michelada. Yeah, seriously. I just up. did. I just chugged the whole thing. The whole thing's gone? Well, it's like, there's an inch left. Damn, dude. Wow. wow. So it's hitting me right now. It's yeah, like, it's hitting you. It's it's like 24 it in 24-ounce can? That's yeah, a lot. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, so Drop Dead, you said, where's the love? Do you find the city of Los Angeles to be morally no. vacant? Okay, so yeah, pretty much. Uh, Why are you shaking your head? No. Okay, there's no Fez, love. Fez there's was no like, love. no, you're way off target there, Daddy. There's this no is love. A morally vacant city. There's no love in LA. And I made a song about it like a few years ago. There's no, like, there's Bro, no love I, in LA. I, I, I think you got, okay, having well, let's, that let's, attitude. Let's go, let's go one at a time. So, yeah. uh, so how do you feel about the city? It's like a roller coaster, you know? You put your hands up, you're happy at one point, and you're mm -hmm. going, and then you go down the roller coaster, and then your arms fall off, and you're like, fuck. Mm -hmm. So when you say there's no love, though, can you boil that down into one incident? Okay, so basically, I've dated, like, you know, a select few girls, and they weren't even from L.A., you know? That's just... That's the main problem right and, there. And, and, and for the first, like, three or four months, you know, dating these chicks, I'm sure you guys have experienced that. Uh, you know, it's real. Sure. And then LA changes them. LA mm. changes every girl, bro. I what know what, I, okay. I know what he's saying. Wait, I, 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 I want to hear from him. All right. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. LA. Okay. So LA changes women. It, you know, like I agree. I fully agree. I agree with, too, but yeah. I'm going to tell like, you how to get girl, around that. Too, girls, but, will, girls will dress the way they dress nice. And then, and you know, after four months of them living here, like as a new, as a new, like girl here. They start to dress like hoes. Yeah. And then they start mm -hmm. being hoes. And then, you know, like options. I don't sure, know. Sure. Like, they have a lot of options. A lot of here. options come out. And then they're like, because, you know, there's a lot of attractive people in LA. Yeah. Or guys with money or yeah, guys exactly, with clout. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, it's so expensive out here. So then they want, like, to ride right. the wave and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, it's yes. just, it's just real. And it's just, it's just hard because, like, I've been living here for eight years and mm -hmm. obviously, like, as a human, we need love in our life sure. at some point or, you know, just to keep like happiness. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's just, it's just fucking hard, you know? So you, you got with a chick, it sounds like multiple times when she was fresh off the boat 
and she still had some of those Midwest values and drop dead Jed was enough for her. But then in multiple cases, they've outgrown their tank, so to speak. Yeah, they've outgrown yeah. the drop dead Jed relationship and yeah. they've moved on to men that they think they're more deserving of. Yeah. Or just money and, or and money, just right? fucking, uh, maybe they're just hotter. I don't know, but it's just like, Stop. Don't think that, dude. Is the guy really attractive? I'm saying, I don't know for all of them. All right. Uh, but also, also, drugs change them, too. Yeah. Drugs, too. Yes. All right. I'm going to tell you one thing you got to remember when you're out here, man. Like, unless it's like a serious trained actress that came from, like, some program, it, it, girls are just out of here to get famous. And those girls, you can bang them. You can like them. But you can never love them because they're going to hurt you because they're just looking over your shoulder for the next best thing. Yeah. Find a local. The locals here that are not in the in the industry, there's a ton of them and there are a lot of you got to remember how big this city is. It's huge. Yeah. There's a lot of locals and they're so down to date a crazy guy like you. My boyfriend's a YouTuber. She has her serious little, you know, her little job wherever it is and they're the girls that are going to have values. They their families here in town, yeah. you know, they probably see their mom and dad a good amount. Um, they're the girls that are going to be better. And you can find some some wifeys, man. There's some really solid chicks. Yeah, yeah, I think Danny's yeah. starting to get the picture of why yeah. the, valley, the valley is cool, too. I The girls out here, if a girl doesn't have a job, yeah, you probably need to stay away. Because yeah, a chick who doesn't have a job or is doing some, like, oh, Weird you know, I, I pick up some, <laughs> some serving shifts at this restaurant, and then right. I kind of just do some internet stuff. Those chicks are the kind of chicks who... In the morning, they'll be there by your side, drop dead Jed, and mm -hmm. then come nightfall, they'll be blowing Drake in a club. Yeah, Unfortunately, no, yeah, was... Drake gets uh, yeah. A lot but of like, girls. I don't, I don't love every. I've had like one real love out here, and sure. that was like a few years ago. You know what I'm saying? But trying to find love out here is like, it, it's impossible. About, but honestly, like, I feel like it's hard to find it nowadays in general because sure. of all the social media bullshit. And you right. gotta, Leo's right. You gotta get a chick. I'll specify. Yeah. Uh, the, the chick that I'm gonna date in LA, basically, I will be highly skeptical of dating any girl who lives in LA unless she works in tech. Right. Yeah. Unless she has or, a or real advertising fucking job. or advertising or freaking, I don't know, even if she sells cars at a, at a Toyota dealership. I, I'll be I'm a little down. bit skeptical about that because maybe she'd or, be like, whatever. She, until my OnlyFans picks up, I'm just gonna sling the <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Dude, it would be so easy for you. You want big, Adderall right now? No. Are, are you, you sure? Be, yeah, well, okay, I don't know, I just, I just a to, no, no, I just had a hit that you were on Adderall. But I'm not, but oh. I am on Lion's Mane Mushroom, also peer reviewed studies uh -huh. showing that it, it improves your cognitive ability. Okay. See, I can do OnlyFans, but I, I don't. I haven't yet. But like, well, let's not get ahead if of I, If I find a girl that's like worth it doing it with, no, I don't okay. like that. You sound like you're, you're running into the jaws of the beast. Yeah. Well, he's, 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 like yeah, all, all this stuff happened. Let's go try it again. But for, I need jaws of a beast to handle this dick. You know, for what I'm the saying? for the channel though, I like this. So you know, it's going to be great. our seventeenth guy who tries to do porn and then goes crazy. No, I'm not going to lie though. No, no, no. I got I got offered. I got offered to sign to uh, OC models and I turned them down. Wait, the what, what's OC models? Pull that up, Austin. Let's you, look at their site. Dude, I could see it's you modeling. The number one porn agency. Oh, oh wait, what? I, I, yeah, I could see like you doing the regular the modeling. Top, I got how offered. how do you get offered? Do you send in a cockpit? My no. My sister, her name's Sophia Lux. I used to live with her and stuff. We used to hang out all the time. Okay. She 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 had a kid and went back to Florida, but yeah, she was but, a porn uh, star. OC, what's the what name of the company again? OC Modeling. OC Modeling, and then type in porn, Austin. OC Modeling porn. OC, yeah, yeah, it's like some of the top industry goes. Adult agency, bam, right here. This is it. Yeah. Become a porn star or get top represent representation for established performers. We are the best at what we do. So your sister, it sounds like was an adult star herself. Yes. And she got mm -hmm. pregnant and moved back to Florida. Yeah. God bless her. But then how did you get roped into this? How does a hot sister translate to a guy okay, with a big okay, penis? Because, he already like, said her name. Let's pull her no, up. No, I'm sorry. She, 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 what? She's my actual like sis and shit, but we, we ain't never done nothing. We're going to watch <laughs> her get like, drilled. Yeah. It's not like that. We yeah. never done anything. Like she's, she's like gang for life. But anyways, like I don't know she means. accidentally walked in on me one day uh, fucking one of her friends and she was, like, she was like, damn, you got a big dick. Like I didn't mean to see that shit. And then you got to turn on more after she was your like, sister saw your penis? No. Hell okay, no. sorry. No, no it's not like that, curious. bro. Fuck All right. That. No, okay. I'm just saying. So uh, what's her name one more time? Mickey Mouse. Head ass. <laughs> what's her name one more time? <laughs> Sophia Lux. Can you pull that up, Austin, right away? Oh, S-O-P-H-I-A. Yeah. Obviously, don't put it up so the fans can see it, dude. Um, You know, Lux. I think L-U-X. Yeah. Oh, and then shit, where do you go, dude. images? 
and then let's go oh, uh, porn, hot. and then type in uh, porn xxx naked. Because we, I, I'm sorry, what I need to see a black dick going in. What is porn xxx naked? She only likes what? black guys. Well, oh shit. There, is this her? She's cute. Right, she's I really pretty. Look. I she's see her. Really she's pretty. having sex with a white. Oh, she's getting fucked in the ass. Drop dead. Can no. you get that shot? Third row on the left, Austin. She's get, having. She's getting sodomized. Oh no, no. Come on. That there one, we go. Yeah. I mean, Fez wouldn't know that that she's getting sodomized. Oh my god. One. Now go down to the one right, in right, that yeah, drop yeah, down. Right, Danny, shut up. Stop. This is gonna get you back. Just take it off. Just take it off. I know the title of the podcast. Austin, this one. This one. Yeah, yeah. Pull that up. Pull that up. Take it off. I can't. I'm blind. Oh, she's getting drilled in the ass. Fez, that is where a woman's asshole is. That is where a woman's asshole is, Fez. No now you know. Drop dead. She's got a huge penis in her rectum. Just All a right. giant. Can we pull awesome. it back up, Austin? Just awesome. Oh, oh wait, no. You, you closed it, Austin. You got to leave that so we can Danny, flash it whenever we want. Are you going to? I mean, I know you're not. You're trying not to watch porn, but like are, now that you know this. Now that you know, about, I have a Pornhub sister. Yeah, like, are you maybe going to awesome, have to rub Danny. one out? Is this your biological sister? Yes. Oh, there she's sucking. Oh, a, stop! She's sucking a black cock at one of these. Big one. Now. Yeah, she, it's a large, oh, it's dude. a large penis. She's really pretty, dude. She's hot. She's way hotter than I thought she was gonna be. Yeah, she's really pretty. Can man. you pull up the one that we had up, dude? Look uh, at her young, prior. dude. Young Sophia looks. Oh my god. Oh, look at. Let's pull up that one, Austin. That one's fighter. So are we like, are we like family now, Danny? Since like yeah, you're like are. in the porn industry. Why are you gonna pull this well, one up, dog? Why are, you gotta do this? So. <laughs> so it sounds like, Drop Dad, you're trying to get me to put you in touch with some of my contacts. I don't need that. Sounds like you need that. I have my own contacts. Who are your contacts? Uh, disclosed information. NDA. Can't t- say right now. I'll tell, tell you later. Okay. I'll tell you an example. I'll he, tell you later. I don't like flexing and saying names on listen, camera. I don't like. I don't like. This flexing guy over here, buddy. So. You might as well think of him as Harvey Weinstein for making a scene happen with just indie produce like guys like you. He makes independent films with guys like you. He could put you on the map. He could just one day Absolutely. be like, hey, man. I'm not asking for that. Want to go to Adam if, 22's if, if house? You, if you want to do that, you can do that. I'm not ask, I don't ask for shit because I'm not a cloud chaser. you want to be a porn star. You want to be a porn star. I don't star. want to. No, like. But I, maybe. I'm saying if it comes down to well, the rock a, bottom. Is a spider whatever, on the screen? Yeah. I think there's a spider on the screen. Oh, yeah. What is no, that, dude? Not, oh, my God. That's so weird. Dude, that's crazy, wow. man. I think it might be a tarantula right there on the right. Man, uh, oh, damn. The screen went dark. Could you t- turn it on for us, bro? Uh, uh, I can't, f- I, my peripherals see it still on. Yeah, I know. It's, it's actually Leo. He's right. It's just the, yeah. it's the biggest black penis I've ever seen going in his sister's it's China. Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's probably uh, Javon Jordan because that's who was going to represent me as well. Stop. He was, uh, yeah, I'll represent you, you little N-word, you motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, dude, did he, did he say anything about your sister, bro? Like, was They he- fucked, yeah. But th- he's the one that, I, he's like the main reason I was really going to get like signs to them because I had to send yeah. him my dick pic. Oh, Damn, God. he's like, man, you fucking, I already been in your sister's pussy and shit, but man. But I have like, I have, I have like morals and shit. I don't know, like, I don't know. That's how I am right now. But I'm, I'm trying to like not to let Dude. LA change me fully. But yeah, clearly morals don't run in the family. I, Austin, I, can you can you flip to another <laughs> tab real quick? I we'll, knew, we'll, get, we'll clear it so you're okay it's Shohei Otani again. Danny would it's prefer Shohei. that it's it Shohei, be dude. it's Shohei Otani like, for real it is it's Shohei Otani hey but no cap though yeah she made she made uh, some some music with me like rap and shit and she's fire she can rap she's hot dude she's fire she's at music. fucking hot like, she's, she's one of the best like female like artists I've ever heard I find that hard to believe I'd have to show you a song because I, I just I doubt the multi-talented abilities of most porn star women yeah I mean uh, she looks like she can gargle on some dick dude I'll tell you that much I'm sorry I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> oh my god, uh, that was the most fucked up comment of the entire podcast. I'm right, cool. so sorry, dude. <laughs> I, I, back. I wonder how fast I could hook up with your sister, though. Oh I feel my like god, hey, she's fucking got a child. Any porn um, star? Porn stars are attracted but, to classically but, handsome guys. No, but she's re- she's very down to earth and different. Like, and, and she's and she's a boss ass bitch. Like, when it comes down to it, yeah. like she'll fight you. Type yeah, shit. I love that. Like, I love she, that. She's she's got like kind of a. Like tomboy and her, you know what I'm saying? Drop like dead. I knew, you were, I knew when I saw you that you had the potential to be a special kid. And it seems like so far, buddy, I didn't know about your sister, you know, so yeah, drop, but being a legend. So drop dead, I agree with you that Los Angeles, the the LA dream destroys women. Yes. I the women I've come into contact with who live in LA and who are about the LA lifestyle. It is fucking tragic. Almost Sad. universally, it is so tragic. Yeah, they they just rotate between getting shit on in Dubai, then then going to Drake's 
you know, parties and hoping to be the one that he bangs and then being yeah. like, whatever, I guess we'll go over to Chris Brown's house. I may, maybe that's he'll all, beat our asses stupid. and we'll it's make some bullshit. money. You know how many, you know how many girls these fucking rappers and shit fuck? Like it's yeah. not even like I've, I've been invited recently to a bunch of big parties and I'm like, I don't give a fuck whose party is. I don't give a fuck who's there. Like I'm living my life. I, I'm going to do what the fuck I'm going to do. Like I don't. Like I don't care about clout and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, good, I mean, there, there's a point to where you have to care a little bit for your your career, but at the end of the day, like, I don't yeah, really give I, a fuck. Like, I think you can't say you don't care about clout when you're wearing a necklace with your own nickname on it. I made this. I think it's pretty. I, I love it, but I mean, I, can I have one like that? I can make you one. Yeah, like, I would love one. You're like honestly. the uh, eighth person to ask me. Aren't you dressed? I'll pay you for it. Aren't you dressed a little loud for a guy who doesn't care about clout? I like to. I like colors and I like to embrace my style. Like I. I used to try to dress like this in my hometown and people would look at me like I'm fucking weird. Like I I, I fucking just spray painted my car just so people okay. like I, I put I'm not normal on it or like whatever. Like I like I like being loud. Let's see you his Instagram. Can we pull up Drop Dead Jed's Instagram? I like, I like see if he doesn't. Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck. Sorry, that was just. God <laughs> damn it. What the fuck? You had to see a 10 no. inch of your sister's no. pussy, dude. I'm sorry. sorry. I like being loud because it makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? I was bullied my entire life. I was bullied through middle school and high school and in college. On. Put the third video with long neck on, dude. I was, I, I was never able He's to never fucking kidding. do what I wanted. That's now I can. Right. Now I can because people don't judge me as much out here. Okay, this is oh wow, who's that girl? That is uh, that, that's just a video they're responding to on the internet. I actually do know who that is. That's a na nas uh, nasty nas or whatever. I she yeah, just yeah. got famous twerking, dude. It's pretty crazy. Good for her. Yeah. Well, drop dead. We've come to the part of the show where I have to see your penis. Yeah, I agree, dude. Do you want to be one of the bros, man? I mean, it's just I'm like, already a bro. But you you're one of the bros already because you've been you know you've been in a video. We like you. We do you think to, you're the next recruit, dude. You're the next recruit. Well, you want to see something funny? Like, look, you're the next like, star. Not if it's not your penis. No, I'm saying like I'm saying like you'll see like the print of it, but it's not going to be like hard because obviously like no limp, dude. He can he's a he can decide. Well, no, 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 I, 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 I just I'm want you to like tell me what you think about my my PSDs. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't know what he's saying. What either. are PSDs? I'm, he's gonna fart or do something oh, weird, maybe. PSD? Oh, the PSD. Is that an underwear brand? Yeah, it's an underwear brand. Was he paid for this plug, you think? I think he probably got it at Ross for a discount. Okay, he's, like, he's trying to... I'm sorry, Leo. He's got... Oh, wow. His underwear's are big dick energy, but there's no big dick to be seen yet. Are you going to show me anything? What about a photo on your Come phone? Come on. Okay, uh, look. How about... Danny would... He needs to kind of be... It's like... Hey, okay. uh, fa FaceTime one of your girls right now, and I'll show her the, fo the photo, so that way you can, like, see it, but it has to be shown to I girl. resent that. First <laughs> of all, why would my women want to be assailed with your penis? But why? also, why are you uh, assuming I have so many girls? We wouldn't even have, yeah, he wouldn't even have a girl that FaceTime right now to show, to just be like, hey, check out the, yeah, he would. All right, I'll show it. I don't give a fuck. Right. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. I don't give a fuck. So, Fez, take a look yeah, at it Fez first. Fez is our secretary. Fez is going to have to make sure it's, you know, safe. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things like when Achilles, they would, like, eat his food before giving it to us. Like, that's what you have to do. It's Absolutely. like, make uh, sure the no. penis pick is yeah. up to par before we see it. He's got to make sure there's no poison in it. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I don't Like, know remember in Gladiator, sense. when people have to test his soup to make sure it's not poisoned? Yep. Dude, the emperor hates us. He hates us. Yeah. At one point, I thought you were going to poison me. <laughs> no, I would never poison you, but I am going to make you look at my dick pictures for before no, I do. Also, no, Danny, no. isn't it nice of Fez to sacrifice himself so if he gets poisoned, like, at least we don't get it, but, you know, it's nice yeah. of you. It's nice of you to do that for us. Yeah. Like, what if this cock is just so ugly that it is seared into your memory for the rest of your life? Yeah. That's I want to know before I, I see it. it. What's the well, worst thing this? that's uh, seared you ready, in your Fez? memory forever? I'm about to show you my big okay. cock. You ready? No. Yeah, Fez. You got it, Fez. I'm sorry, man. You Fez. got to see the penis. It's not gay, bro. It's I promise. Not, it's not gay, Fez. It's like, dude, it's like being bro. one of the bros, dog. Yeah, bro. This is my big cock. I don't like how he's describing I it know, like that. I know. Yeah. This is my fat, juicy uh, stop, cock. Stop, stop. Right. Don't say it like yeah. that. Yeah, come on, Fez. Fez, look yeah. at it. Fez. Look at it. You have to describe it with two sentences, not one. Two sentences. Uh, Fez, two sentences. I got you Korean barbecue. What would you say? It's a big cock. All right, okay. <laughs> I'll take a look at it. Well, I'll take a look at it, Lynn. Damn, <laughs> what the fuck? That's just big, huh? Oh, shit, it's a huge cock. What show, the yeah. hell, dude? Big, Austin, dude. check out. check it out. Holy shit. Let what the hell? hell? Take a look. I have never seen Austin react like that. <laughs> Let me see, Lynn, Andy. Bring it here. It's a fucking huge. Uh-oh. No cap. Here, 
I hate you <laughs> so much. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, that guy. Yeah. Fez, your yeah. acting was really good. <laughs> See that? See, Fez. Guy. This is what we needed you for. Because that, yeah. no offense, Drop Dead Jed, was I a, saw it. Was I a saw shitty, it. annoying joke that oh. should have been screamed out by our underling. Correct. But instead, he was on your side. He was pretty funny. And he actually yeah. made it funny. He made it funny. But, it but yeah, right, like, what? come on. No, no, it was, it should have been, if at first you showed me that, I would be like, ah, oh, go fuck yourself. But because all of the build up, it ended up being amusing. But now I got to see your fucking penis. Also, because something. you have to be punished and take a huge whiff of the smelling salt. Sorry. That too. Dude, I took one the other day. Too on. bad. Do it. Not a huge. It's got to be huge. Hand it over here, too. Woo! <laughs> Let me get one of those. It's, it's nice, dude. Up. Uh, will it help my fractured rib? Ah, no, yeah, grounding maybe. will, though, apparently. Grounding has really helped my fractured rib. I just got whacked in the chest by a golf club three days ago, and my shit's been just Oh, that fucked. is one thing that's cool about him. He played in co college golf. He could teach us. Oh, I thought it was a, a TikTok stunt. I dropped that. I'm upset that I haven't ah! seen your fucking penis, but okay. Fuck. Why can't you show Hit it, Danny? Fez. Hit it. Big whiff. It's oh. all right. He doesn't want it. Let me see that. So, Fez. Drop Dead. Uh, Give it to Austin. Austin needs it for camera switching. He's going to be sharp. Drop Dead. So, you're drinking. Oh, Has it spilled shit. over? Right now, it is Monday at 5 p.m., and you're drinking heavily. You, you Have you been drinking during the days? No, actually. I ain't gonna lie, it's I was a little, nice, huh? I didn't really eat today, so I was like, I was like, hmm, what tastes like food, but can also get me a little good for the, for the cost. A michelada. It's like michelada. It's like spaghetti without the noodles. Hell yeah. Well, so I, Drop Dead and I, we need to figure this out because I, I relate to Drop Dead on this thing with like the LA chicks. What's the game plan? Because I don't think Drop Dead, the solution is just to keep drinking. Yeah. And I think that you need to, first of all, everyone that I know that has problems with women in L.A. are always saying, like, oh, it sucks dating in L.A. So they, it's like a pre, they, they put it in the universe so it comes, it, it, it comes right into their, you know. Well, like re it, well, realistically, the game plan is I need to fucking get back on my feet big time. Because, look, one of the girls I dated, she went behind my back with, you know, a couple people. And mm -hmm. I had a Hellcat at the time. She stole it. I still have my keys for it, like my key, my red key. She had the black key. She she was able to get it out of my safe after months of like watching my shit before I go to work and shit. So Damn. I get a eighty a used eighty thousand dollar car stolen from me. How much did you pay for it? I paid eighty thousand. Uh, okay, that shit. seems irresponsible. Cash drop. That seems really. But then also, don't you have some recourse when a woman steals your vehicle? What, you what and, take, and, and takes it to Mexico so it gets stripped down and sold to the cartel? Well, yeah. Don't you have insurance on it? And now it should. They should Cops have given you. Cops gonna find it. Cops didn't. Well, it doesn't matter. If they find it. it. It was stolen. They should be. Give, they should give you the insurance money. I didn't get shit from it. Drop dead for a guy who hates L.A. culture and clout culture. I don't hate it. I I, I like. I love L.A. It's got its ups and downs. I, I, I love said. it too. But you are wearing a necklace with your own name on it, and I think spending eighty grand on a car is a pretty L.A. move. <laughs> it was my dream car. Well, I had to have it before I die. So you know what? I kind of I love the you, you know you taking life by the horns and just doing something absolutely <laughs> asinine like that. But now you're broke, right? So you got to start over. Well, that was three years ago. Okay. She also took thirty five thousand out of my safe cash. God damn! Why do you have so much cash in a safe, bro? Seriously, man, inflation. What do you mean? Um, fucking what is it? Uh, the apocalypse. Cash is king. No, are you fucking high? It's I got to play something right now. I Cash agree. is king. I agree with, with uh, that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I bet you do. I fucking bet you do. Because, look, say, say Cash App or all these fucking, uh, all these uh, virtual ATMs. apps, what if they all just failed? You lose all that shit. Cash is king. It's you true. are an in asshole. In a way. No, he's, but, no, that's not true. I mean, just, I mean, just, yeah, if, like, we lose, like, if Russia figures it out and blows up a, bun a bunch of satellites and gets our internet down, and then, uh, you know, maybe we... Uh, Okay. We're screwed. That's not very likely to happen, dude. The since 2020, the currency is inflated by 24 percent, meaning you're 32 grand. It's worth three quarters of what it was worth now because of inflation. I mean, this song. That? I was jamming. I'm a Bitcoin guy, so I was oh. jamming this song yesterday. Because uh, uh, the Bitcoin besides it just gather value. Real estate jam. developers in New York City. I'll they tell you in a second. Real estate because they want to live in it. But like most of the people who are buying assets at some point want to sell the assets out. Of People, people, people that use fiat, 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 f
Damn, that is jamming. We call them poor. We call them poor. This is fire, dude. There's a name for They could 100% play this at any festival, <laughs> and everyone would be just. We call them poor. Let's go, Fez. Let me see you dance. Twerk. Come on, twerk. The point is, if, if you have the superior <laughs> asset, it's going up forever. Oh yeah. Let me try it again. Fiat, fiat, currency as a store. My boy, dude. <laughs> Drop that jet. You're you're next, dog. You next, homie. You've always wanted to hear that. You next. I just I, I gotta got say, fire. if you are if you are sitting on cash, anybody out there, you're being an idiot. I cannot emphasize that enough. You're being paranoid, drop yeah. dead Jed. So wait, can I just give like if I have all this cash, yes. say, and I give it to you right now, how can I make it three times worth what you're saying? In how long? <laughs> In how long? I'm saying you Take said this. you said the cash is worth more. Hey, like, so uh, dro- Fed, 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 Drop Dead Jed here said he had 35 grand in a safe because cash is king, and he's afraid to invest it. He's an idiot, right? Yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> Fed just said he's. I'm an not idiot. afraid to invest it. It, it sounds like it got stolen from me three years ago but from my ex. You, dude, this, dude, this is one of the worst stories I've ever heard. You're telling me your ex stole a car and thirty, like a hundred and something yeah. k from you. Yeah, and you and got we dated for like eight months. Like and uh, we, was, we was living with each other too, kind of. So oh, we this were, is the yeah. biggest scam job of all time. She is like she went up in a hall of fame somewhere. And I found yeah, out she's good. doing OnlyFans she too, making like forty k a month. So oh, like, this fuck? is a nightmare. You found what? out she was doing yeah, OnlyFans. And I was like, what the fuck? What bro? is she doing on there? Anal? Just weird like shit, I oh, guess, no. with like s- those squid dildo looking things and like those like octopus squid? things. Oh, those are any other no, guys? It's similar. It's similar. No, no guys. That's, I mean, it could be worse. It's just weird though. Like, Imagine if like, like, hey, what up, man? I'm about to like, fuck this bitches, white bitch. She's so mad at and he's shit, like, oh. These bitches aren't shit out here. Like, I mean, right. they, they, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of really. It's a mindset there's thing. There's a lot of pretty ladies out there, and there's a lot of good girls out there. Yes. Yeah. But. In the industry, it's hard to find the good ones. You I know agree. What I'm like, I mean, there are good ones that are. Date tempted. any girl in the industry, man. Yeah, I agree. Like, or not even in the industry. I'm saying like in in like the L. A. scene, like who like model or act or music or whatever. That's yeah. Like, that's don't what, date that's any of those chicks. Saying, but just I, hook up with them. I agree. So, drop dead. How did you accumulate that? What one hundred and five thousand dollars worth of assets, or one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars worth of assets? Can Probably. I say, can I say it on here? Yeah. yeah. Dealing drugs. Weed. Selling weed. weed. Mm-hmm. Two. You you remember the pillow I had, right? Sort sure. of. Glow Gang Chief Key. Okay, so you were selling weed. Did that business dry up? Uh, yeah, kind of like. I had I, I brought a business partner on, and he kind of like fucked up all my connects. God damn it, dude! He fucked up your connects because he, he started, was a, okay. So he was he, an asshole. Like, so I was selling lows, like low ass weed, that, but they they wanted them, so I was selling to like OTF, like Lil Dirk, like mm-hmm. Chief Keef, like NBA, blah blah blah. NBA whatever. Mike. Young nice. boy. Oh. Lows, lows, you know, like to their people and stuff. Not them directly, but their people. Boom, boom, boom. It's Fez, we're going to... social need. security calling. They're, they need some information <laughs> before they send you another check. Fucking... Uh, <laughs> and they, they're going to have to do a t- an x-ray on your back, dude. You're screwed. Is oh, it, man. Is it salty? A physical therapist they got to uh, look it over? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, over. Hey, you're going to have to get a, a bunk physical therapist. I got an Armenian guy for you. Don't worry. We Ooh. got a fake Armenian therapist. We don't want you working, Fez. Don't worry about it. Anyways, me. anyways, I put my I put I put my <laughs> homie that I had with me that's a grower and shit. And he, I'm made, a grower. Huh? He he got connected with them because they fucked with him and shit, but they didn't realize that he was selling CBD instead of weed. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they thought they was buying weed the whole time. I'm saying like they like didn't 50, test it. Hundred, hundred. They didn't really care, but then I guess it started coming back on them and shit. And and then it went back on him. But it didn't even go what back on genius. me. So basically, I lost all these big ass connects that I was selling real shit to. For, uh, and then he got cool with them because he was like, I don't know. <clears throat> How do you compete with just like a know, shop bro. nowadays? Like, I don't understand. Do you sell to shops? Or how shops? do you compete? He's asking, yeah, no. where in the economy do the, the legalized shops fit into this? Yeah. I, I haven't sold to shops. I, I don't. So there's still a lot of people who will buy weed not from dispensaries. Yeah, of course, because dispensaries are charging like, what, $30 for an eighth of that, an eighth that you think it's good indoor, but it's it's really just depths. It's really, really good outdoor. Mm-hmm. I'm getting really good. Talk a little bit more indoor. indoor. I'm getting top shelf indoor right now, like for the lowest I've ever seen it in my entire life. I'm saying people are, people are charging for indoor. Yeah. 
for indoor pounds. Let's like, get away from the indoor outdoor. Yeah, that doesn't make yeah, much yeah. difference to me. Yeah, but you're a big difference. But though, whatever. But you, I get what you're saying though, because the legal head shops have to pay taxes, so they yeah. have to charge a higher rate. You were selling to people who bought so much fucking weed that paying taxes would be. Brutal. Well, even even I even sell like I, I sell as little as like a point five or even even like fucking a point two to, for you to get a little a little hit up to like thousands. Okay. Like you can buy an ounce at a dispensary, but usually it'll be some like mid like outdoor Oof. weed. And the really, really good shit, they only sell in quantities of like one eighth at a time mm -hmm. so they can get the most profit. Fez from was it. just nodding. Yeah. Yeah. Fez, I think you had just gone too long without contributing, so he just nodded. I know about the weed. <laughs> Not really, I know about I it. I've been with Austin when he buys in the dispensary, so I know how much the price is up. It's I'm gonna elevate. Okay, there, that's up. I just I thought it seemed like you had spaced out, and you just wanted to agree with Austin because he was talking. To, it's okay. I love you. But the most, says I love you. the most, the <laughs> most, the most money is made out of state. Okay, right. so I, I bet. Mm, yeah, because I get that Cali weed. Yeah, I'm curious. I was curious about this. The uh, how you make money with the dispensary scene. So you made this money. And then was that all you, was that your entire nest egg that went to the Hellcat and that 35 G's got stolen? Oh, no, I, I got the Hellcat money within two deals. Okay, so, so you were back? Hmm? But now, why are you and having... And then I came back. I came back up. I got back on my feet. I was doing good. Boom, boom, boom. And then fucking, I don't know. It's like... These girls, bro, I invest I invest a lot into a woman. Like You I, probably spent I put, a lot of money on this. I put a lot of effort into the women I, I date. Damn, bro. And, you know, like, I just never really see it back. Like, I see it back emotionally, like, in the beginning, and then it just goes away. What but was the nicest thing you bought a girl? Nicest thing I bought a girl? Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, shit, I got to think, because there's, like, a lot of nice shit I bought a girl. Name some of it. Dude, just the fact that you, I know you've bought a purse for a bitch. No, not a purse. That's so basic. Oh my God! Bigger than more than a purse. <laughs> what did you buy, dog? A uh oh, jewelry. <laughs> what did you buy? Drop dead. Uh, tell us. I bought a uh, I bought a tennis chain for uh -oh. a girl. How yeah. much was that? It was like twenty two thousand. Oh That's my! Just fucking retarded, dude. God. Dude. That girl's looking at that chain, just being the like, way. The, she's probably she's looking, looking at, at the like chain oh, laughing at you. She's probably looking yeah, at it like money. But the way I look at it is, money comes and goes. We're not going to the grave with it. The only place our money's gonna go is to our family when they're still it's alive. Very the sweet. People alive around us. I you agree. Should have given that to your mom. Yeah, but though. I feel like you should own a house before you have that attitude, though. I, I gave. Like I, I already gave my mom. You buy Good. a chick a twenty thousand dollar chain like that, she probably respects you less. She probably looks at it, laughs to herself like, "Holy shit, I can't believe Pretty I got this chain. fucking guy to she buy." She doesn't me even a know how much it was. I never told her. Oh. I never told even her how much it was. Even if she's into you, as soon as you start gonna, being a simp, she's I'm gonna go back to mindset. There are some girls that would, but there are also there's a girl out there who would be like, "I can't believe this guy did that." And that, but she a good girl would be like, uh, "No, return, return this. it." Yes, that's retarded. She doesn't right. know how much it was though. She said like she pretty much asked me how much it was and. I was like, nah, like, like, like a thousand. But then she's too like, stupid. You're crazy, to even be bro. Dating if you can't realize the value. I'm crazy, of nice. I'm crazy. I, well, I wouldn't know the value. We yeah. we saw some rings that uh, you know, Holly Day was wearing, and they didn't look like much. And she told us the price, and we were like, what? Yes. And yeah, they could have been. Chain, you can feel that. I don't Maybe. know. I feel like at a convincing counterfeit or low quality chain, I would be sold. I'd be me too. But drop dead. I think we need to work on right now. It seems like your self esteem. And I feel like that'll be helped by saving some money up again, yeah, and not blowing it on twenty two thousand dollars. Yeah, no, that was, that was that was that was that was like years ago. Like I don't I, when I get money now, I I basically just like pay what I got to pay my bills and shit, you know. And I uh, I fucking help out my friends if they need help. I don't like shit. that either. I don't know if I like. I, it. How about this? How about I help out everyone. I Man, help. That's what I, I but do. But what does that entail? Because I'm worried that you're like one of your fucking pilled out buddies is like, oh, bro, I haven't paid rent in five months, and you're like, oh, lit Andy's got you. No, it's not a lit Andy. It's like it, right now, it's like just me. Like it's not drop that jet. It's not. It's not lit Andy helping. Like when I'm in that heart right there, it, it's me as is Jedediah helping. Like but as, Jedediah's got to help Jedediah. Jedediah's yeah, on a drinking bender right now, which leads me to believe that Jedediah needs to help himself a little bit. What's up? I mean, what yeah, if Saltine? Like, Saltine ask you for money yet? No, he hasn't. I've actually given him money to oh, no, to bet. flip for me on betting. And I bet he And did. he flipped it. Oh, he did? Yeah. He Saltine's gave you back actually pulling up. He said he was going to be here at like six or whatever. Well, yeah, drop dead. How much money do you have saved ballpark right now? Ballpark right now? Shit. <laughs> you in the negatives? 
Nah, I ain't gonna lie. To get Goose egg? to get to this podcast today, yeah, I had to pay six hundred and twenty dollars to get my car out. I got towed because my keys got locked in it in a fucking ten minute sign parking. Oh, I got towed uh, last night or yesterday. Wait, wait. I had to pay six hundred and twenty dollars to get my car out of the tow yard just to make it to this podcast on time. You're well, a good man. Uh, I feel like he's kind of putting the blame on us for his car getting. No, no, no. It's not the blame. <laughs> nah, it's not nah, the blame. Nah. It's because like I love you guys and you I told wanted, me about I wanted it. to come out. It. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and coming here, it keeps my head afloat. I've been. I ain't gonna lie. The past two weeks, maybe three weeks, I've been really like low, Fuck. like physically and emotionally, and uh, and yeah, I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to like keep keep my head up, but it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'm not. And that's why I, I'm drinking. Have, Drink, help, drinking helps me not like crying. I have low mental health days too, bro. And and the only thing that kind of helps me is, you know, I'm gonna sound like just <sighs> such a piece of shit saying this, but it's like let's hear it. If you if you educate, if you read it a little bit, like a couple self help books, they all say the same kind of thing. And um, one day you kind of just realize that like life is very difficult, and and it kind of you know as you get older, it kind of gets a little bit more difficult. That's the truth. But your mindset as you get older because you become more wise becomes better and you can just handle everything better because you just wake up and you're like man i'm alive another day hell yeah let's go like i'm, I'm alive man just wake up thinking like grateful to be alive and that's it but it's 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 hard it's not an easy thing to do but if you can do that you're gonna be fine also your mentality with the women like if you start being like i'm gonna meet a baddie who's like dope soon you will all right. I've had the best luck with women my right. entire life. I've ruined a bunch of sh- poor girls, you know, self esteems by by cheating on them because I'm a piece of shit. But I've had great girls Leaking in my life. their vaginal pictures into the internet. Never did that. Uh, but I've had great girls in my life. You because know, because I've had a good mindset about. It. Like I'm like I'm gonna find a girl that's a nice girl well, that has a good family. You know? we, that's good. That's part of it. But also we gotta talk about the nuts and bolts way you're living your life, buddy. And I well, don't, you, you, I don't agree with the two tall boy micheladas on a Monday afternoon. But give me a little bit more you know what, other you know than keeps, michelada. You know what keeps, fire. You know what keeps me. You know what keeps my head going though, and you know what keeps me going. Let me hear What's it. that. Is my music, but the reason I'm not fucking blown up off that yet is because marketing's a bit marketing's hard, but I don't know how. Like I got like the I got the I got the look, I got the fucking music, but the dick. I don't know, bro. I think I feel like That's I'm important. fucking. I feel like I'm blacklisted from the fucking social media algorithm. Nah, nah, music's no. good. Everybody though. feels like, like that. It is, it is like actually Surf good. Hey, do th- do fucking thirty albums, dog, until you get like until nobody can deny you. Just don't stop doing it until it, you can't be denied. Yeah. That's I've, been, I've been doing music for eight years. My first big show was Rolling Loud 2016 Miami. You know the story? You know Russ, dude, that that guy, that uh, rapper? I've heard of him. You heard that uh, he he read Think and Grow Rich, and uh-huh. then he used the, the sexual energy chapter that I love, of course. Yeah. He used that, and he just started just getting, just just made like a million albums, and then he woke up one day and was he was rich. Okay. I mean, I know I'll make like a simplification. I know my music will make it one day. Simplification, but, but that's kind of basically how he said it on, a, on like a, a podcast. But I mean, I know I know my music will make it one day. It's just like, hey man, your marketing's uh, right in front of you, dog. You got thirty five, forty thousand, fifty thousand listens right here, dude. Sell them, sell them who you are. Let's hear it, say, it says three people are watching. Let's hear. Listen, it. Put a, let's put it. Let's put a drop dead Jed track on. Let's hear it, dude. All right, you want to hear a new one I just made? Yeah, it's, it's, it. it's gonna be my my hometown anthem. Let's hear it. Where's your hometown again? Uh, Winter Haven, Florida. Winter Haven, Florida. But wait, do you want to you want Austin to pull it up or you want to? It's, it's on brand there? new on here. Oh, let's hear it. Uh, put it in. Not the, even I'll on Spotify. The, my mic is better. I'll put it in the mic. All right. Let me turn it up real quick. Yeah, all the way up. All right, there you go. You gotta press play. Okay. It's all the way up. Yeah. I just made this like two days ago. So I'm saying A63 because that's my, my area code. 863. I see you drinking his fucking michelada, Leo. Just took his michelada. He's been holding it this whole time. It's quite good. I'm okay. There you go. Small 
Right. I'm asleep to it. Vibe, yeah. I, right. it's I actually petty. like it. It's like I think that you need to come up with a a move mm-hmm. in order to remember with E40 they ghost rode the whip and yeah. then like Soldier Boy like Superman to that hoe. Mm-hmm. What's your move, dude? Okay, what kind of genre should would blow me up? I think you got to do what's true to you. Okay, listen. I, this is one thing I know about an artist uh, about art, and maybe Danny could be, could uh, say if I'm right or wrong here, but. If you are not like a, a, a kind of an authentic version of who you are in whatever you do artistically, be it stand up, be it act, even acting, be it be it music, yeah. you're not going to succeed if so, you're not authentically. I you. mean, for so music, what's your sex move? What's your sex move? Yeah, exactly. Who 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 are you? Dude, well, for music, bedroom? I'm all genres. I just make whatever comes to my heart. Okay, that's fine. When then. you're making love to a girl, what's your signature? Yeah. Like my signature, like uh, like uh. Do you do anything weird? That might be good material for a song. Anything weird? I mean, I just I just have this certain position that. What is it? Fucking the bitch is uh, not the bitch. The, the lady's laying on the side. Yeah. Use yeah. Fez to demonstrate. No. No. Yeah, yeah. So you, no. Turn, you put fucking. the leg over. No, nah, like she's laying on the side. I'm laying on the side. I say, put your left leg up, so I can put my left leg under her. Okay. <laughs> and then I grab her right leg and I put it. I pull it up. Like I put it right here. That's pretty funny, I dude. Put my right leg over her. Oh left my leg god. With my left leg under it. Talking so to the mic. Her right leg is over. Me into right the here. mic. Into the mic. Okay. Okay. So my left leg is under her left leg. My right leg goes over her left leg, while her right leg is over top of my left leg. So kind of like, like a pretzel. Like that a, might have been like the most pretzel. incoherent description I've ever heard. It's like a. It's like a braid. And like then a, like a braid. And right? then after yeah. the legs can after the legs are tied in, I get my hand my left hand and I push her I push her right shoulder down, <laughs> and I hold her so that way she's kind of like facing away to where she can still look, and then I take my right hand and I grab her fucking. Uh, her, her ass right here, like yeah, her, her waist, uh, yeah. her love hand, her waist, yeah. I grab her waist and then I just go, bro. And and I'm not gonna lie, like that's like the best spot for it because my shit hits to the left. You know what I'm saying? That's like a G. <laughs> okay. I got a G spot curve header right there, bro. Oh. I, listen, I'm this saying, sounded I'm, like Twister. Like this sounded like something that they would could have only been created like if you were playing the game Twister. Yeah, which we should play on the pod sometime. It's very visual, yeah, but yeah. still, I, I I like it. I want to say something about his penis that twerks to the left, like <laughs> like my shit hit to the left. Like, I think you just sing a song about your dick stimulating the left side of a girl's pussy. Dude, that's funny. I got I a song about my dick, actually. A lot of people say, like, what? They don't want white <laughs> rappers to do funny rap, though. That's like a thing, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. I've heard. That's not funny, dude. Make it black. Make it super, like, make yeah, it black. These bitches want my left. Everyone says dick. I sound black when I rap and shit, though. That's, like, that's how it is. You, well, every white boy sounds like that when they rap, right? They're yeah. all like, yeah, A63. Yeah. A six three. It's Not, just like it was catchy. I liked it, but I just want you to fucking. I made a neon diss track because I had to. And we don't know much about neon, to be yeah, honest. No, I yeah, don't, I don't, we don't, don't, don't want him. We don't want that. We stuff. don't want him over here. Now nah, we want him over here, but we would uh, we would teach him a lesson. Okay, I have like eight hundred songs unreleased. Okay, well, that's good, dude. Well, then start releasing them. I'll, I'll release them right now. Yeah. But the thing is, well, the, the beats music is weird though because you probably don't know you don't own any of those beats, right? I own them, most of them, yeah. You bought them all for a thousand? No, I have people that like make beats for me. Okay, that's people, cool. Like you know, I, sometimes I'll post or, like my email and shit, and people just send me beats and but shit. They I'm pay like, I like you this pay one. for them because most of them have like they're like if you put it up on Apple Music, they have like a thing where they get their money. Yeah, I know, of you. I know. That's 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 only pe- people on YouTube beats, but I've reached out to people in the past, and I have uh, publishing deals with them. Okay. So I have a publishing agency, which co- I mean the fucking. Uh, that writer's thing hit or whatever. Yeah. So that during that right. agency, like it didn't, the writer struck was a problem. Jed, I, I, I say we do this. I say we put on a beat and I say everybody has to freestyle oh, about their own, no. about their own sexual hangup. I'm so bad. What's a hangup? Like you're fucking dick curving to the left. I'm going to uh, write about jerking off with new lube and not being able to come as much. Uh, Fez is going to sing about his virginity. Of course. Of and course then Austin, yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Austin, so, you you go first because you're you're I'm, really good. I'm gonna take a wee wee. We all, hey, I got I got to get pissed real quick. I gotta take right, so, Let's take it. Let's cut this, Austin. And we'll all rip the smelling salts. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a free type beat, whatever that means. Oh, here we go. You gotta shout out the beat maker right now. Storm. Storm. Yo, it's Danny Mullen. Cock don't work no more. 
<laughs> Jerking off for too many years, shedding too many tears, waiting for the beat to drop. Storm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Motherfucking Fez in the house with Lee, man. Beating off for years in the shower. Now my penis straight up out of power. I think I milked this motherfucker from its juice. But when I was 21, it was like a bull moose. Oh, yeah. Been beaten off to Angela White. Those titties are nice. And that asshole is tight. Woo! <laughs> Drop dead Jed. His shit cursed to the left. His girlfriend is guilty of auto theft. She took that shit down to Mexico. And she is a hoe. And if I saw her, I would make her blow my dick in front of Drop Dead Jed to oh. get inside his head or get his sister in my bed. Oh, oh. a big black man already beat me to the punch. <laughs> he ate that bitch's pussy like it was a school lunch. Oh, damn. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. That's smelling salt, baby. That's uh, that smelling salt. Let's go. Uh, go, Fez. Okay. You're up, Hit Fez. it, Fez. Fez is <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this is Fez in the house telling you I'll leave you with because I got no bitches going to throw me for hit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Keep going. Dude, that was great. Keep dude. going. Were you speaking uh, Chinese? Yeah, bro. It was definitely not English, dog, but I loved it, dude. <laughs> Austin, restart it. We got to let And Fez. it's going to be better than oh, mine, dude. It's going to be better than me. I just want to hear that for a sustained period of time. <laughs> Fez, do it again. Do it again. Nah, come on. It came come on. out of nowhere. That's what a freestyle is. It comes out of your fucking cock. Oh, dude, come on. This is a no judgment zone. Fez just told us about all of his hardships. Or, excuse me, drop dead jet. His That's soft ships. That was sick. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick, though. <laughs> all right, let's do it again, Fez. Come on. Okay. Just wrap up Pokemon or something. Uh, yo. Storm. Pick it to the house, tell him it's a vulnerable house. I guess like I don't know why if you do it with people's mouths. Because <laughs> you. <laughs> it's no way that's English, Doug. I, I, Continue. No, no, <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Freestyle. All keep right. going. This is good for you. I don't I can't. <laughs> All right, Leo. It's your turn. I'll do after you. Can you turn the beat up a little bit? All right. Leo's coming. Uh, okay, I'll go to you. Pretty loud. This is my uh, weakness. I'm right. kind of deaf. I can't rhyme, ears. dude. Yeah, me too. A little bit. Let's start it. Let's start it at the beginning so it gets more beat. Pick a new beat. Fuck it. Yeah. Put yeah. on a fresh one. Fresh. Who wants to go? You are up, Leo. Oh, God. How much you want me to go? Let's see how let's see how it feels well, my, up. My sexual hang up, bro. Just yeah, so just blowjobs and parking lots, yeah, of course. So. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice one. I don't know if you feel it, but we're gonna win. I don't know if you can see it, but we're gonna win. Here we you go, got Leo. to understand we're gonna win right now. Yo. Hey, that's right. Not another one. Shit, my N word Leo in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's right. <clears throat> yes, this is how we do. Ha 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 ha. You know, they always laugh and shit. Like, ha 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 ha. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, ha ha. Uh, uh, yeah, ha ha ha. Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we do. <laughs> shit, ha. <laughs> What? Yo, yo, my name is Leo, you know, I got that big D-O, and that's how it is. My favorite thing to do is, you know how it go, boo, get a blowjob in a parking lot. I love to do it with two dots. That's the way to do it, do it better than one, cause I'm the one, and that's all I got, cause I can't freestyle, but you know how we do. Dude, that I was the best was, I've ever done. That was good, dude. Like, all you have to do is just be confident and keep going. Yeah. Because rap is just so terrible. And nowadays, yeah. It just sounds like any other rap song. It's like, true. rap sucks, dude. Nowadays, yes. And what you're listening to sucks. Yeah, there's some good shit out there, man. Yeah, there are good rap, but most are just like, most, yeah, yeah, I got the perps. It's like yeah, everything yeah. that is in rap has been said, like, yeah. 30 yeah, years ago yeah, in rap. Yeah. Like, if yeah, the police, yeah, I'm yeah. drinking, yeah, yeah. we got bitches. I'll be on this exactly. pod yeah. with two cops, yeah. I be on this shit with my left cock, yeah Bad little bitch, you wanna suck up on my cock, yeah Say I'm like the rabbit, like I'm a Mr. Duck, yeah, yeah Slide on my duck, yeah She got that yacht, yeah Wait, she got that yacht, ayy 
She got that fat ass, I'ma hit her with that class, yeah, she be classy. I might hit that shit until her pussy turned to trashy. Damn, she on the top, yeah, now I'm on the top. Wait, I came from the bottom, yeah, I'm smoking on a rock, yeah. I ain't smoking rocks, no, I just set a rock, yeah. I be on the top, yeah, cause I wanna pop, yeah. Baby say she classy, yeah. Smoking on that weed, ain't smoking lean. Wait, I ain't sipping lean. Wait, I be burning trees, yeah. And I'm with the boys, yeah. Leo and the Danny, baby, when the Benny, he look like a trainee, but you look like a mini, mini mouse cash. Look at Fez, yeah. Look at Austin in the back, smoking on that, yeah, gas. Uh, Bring us home, Austin. That was dope. Sorry, sorry. That was dope, dude. Bring us home, Austin. Bring us home. That's the last one, and then we're going. Austin's got the He's bars. He's got to pick his own friggin'. Austin's got the bars, though. I ain't going to lie. I'm just drunk and vibing. That was good. That was good. One. That was really good, yeah. dude. That was really good, dude. I appreciate it. Dude, look at this photo. I, just, I, I usually worst, write dude. my shit, you know what I'm saying? It's really funny, though. If you think about yeah, it, it's the funniest really crap, dude. The guy with a, with a machine, Austin, though. you should be exactly. my ghostwriter. It's really funny, dude. I, yeah, I can't really write. Oh, Austin can ghostwrite for me, and I'll just All use right. that voice. He, we'll could, rip you it could just, he could rip it over a mic, and you could just like listen to it. Like, you could write. Oh, this is fire. Yeah. He's feeling it. Hey. Just whipped out the bins. Me and Fez. Fucking lesbians, <laughs> fat cocks. Yeah, we swinging while we banging. Got the trunk popped out, cause I'm H Town gangin'. Gang, 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 gang. And fucking Danny doing rat dabs, not fucking tranny. We be sniffing blows, fucking hoes. We do this every day. We loading droves. Yeah, we roll. Yeah, we don't play. I said the oh, N word, but I'll bleep it, cause yeah. it was a mistake. Now I'm at the fuck you rapping while I'm eating souffle. Oh, souffle. Uh, me and my homies coming up. We busting gas. Damn. We in the club. We, we guns. We keep it strapped. I got the pistol in my bag. I get you crack. Me and my homies smoking reef. We don't smoke crack. That was money, dude. Yeah. yeah I'll sit there. So it's just mad reps. Just getting that's like, fine. He's got, he has so many reps. No, nah, that was fine. So, so many reps saying the N word? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that, that was for fire. Sure. <laughs> but that, that was still fire. He's had, good. He's really good. good. I mean, I, I, I'm no. It was so fire. I just had to ad lib it. My bad. That was I, good. No, I like that. That's been Leo and Danny's show. Bad.